This is um, Five Glub Glubs in New York. <laughs> Funny name, but you're an ass. He goes, Anthony, you can criticize the president all you want. Stop acting like you're such a free thinker and everyone is sheep. Your criticisms don't hold up, though, if they rely on visceral populist rhetoric and dull cynicism. It, that, that isn't my argument. My argument holds up. But it's not based on visceral populist rhetoric and dull cynicism. It's based on the fact that thousands of people don't have food and water. Now, that whole criticism is based on the fact he wanted to say those words and he couldn't yeah. figure out how to get them in a sentence. We get it. You're smart. You. Yeah. Uh, we get it. You have a thesaurus. What? A thesaurus. I'm criticizing <laughs> the, the uh, administration for not acting quickly enough to get these people the essentials. I'm not even talking about getting them all out. I'm not saying why aren't they all in hotel rooms right now getting room service. I'm talking about food and water for for these people that they know where they are. They know where thousands of them are sitting right now. And they've gone days and days and days without the essentials. Why Why is that uh, a populist rhetoric and dull cynicism, you ass? And I, I can criticize the president all I want. Of course I can. He's been dying to say... Dull cynicism. Visceral populist rhetoric. No one talks like that. You, you five glub glubs. Yeah. You enjoy <laughs> Yates humor. Yeah. You know what that uh, post needs at the end? One man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Visceral populist rhetoric man. <laughs> Bill Burns studio once again. You, you picked a great oh, week uh, to do the dude, show with this, us. This I mean, has <laughs> been the worst week trying to hype my shows. Everywhere I you just can't escape this story. No. Yeah, and we have the Arlene. horror, the destruction. Coming up at Caroline's this week, we got a comedian. <laughs> right. And the funny. Uh, bringing the funny in the into the show today, Bill Burr. How was it last night? Uh, it was actually it was decent. Good. It was hey, some hey, people up go. here from New Orleans. This really? guy was psyched, though. Everyone was giving him free shit. Wow. Yeah, he went to... Even I... You, you want to buy a CD? I'm like, oh, you're from New Orleans? Here, take it. He's like, no, no, I can't. And he's like taking the CD. He's telling me... Went around. He went to go buy some expensive cigars. You just had to say he's from New Orleans. It's just like... That's what it's all about. I, I think that's the thing. Work on a Creole accent. That's what... You know, York, for a while it was... If you were from Oklahoma City... You got the free stuff, and then if you were a, a 9-11, if you were a fireman in New York City, I mean, you carte blanche, you get whatever you want. And uh, now, it's you just hip, say you're hip, from New Orleans. Yeah, it's hip to be from the New Orleans. The disaster du jour. Ha ha! Ha ha! Well, there was one guy, I guess, <laughs> drove up and uh, he took a I'm, cab. I'm practicing. What the hell? Give it a shot. He was a cab driver down in New Orleans, and he took drove his cab up, up uh, north. I saw that guy, yeah. too. Yeah. And uh, they're offering him jobs to be a cab driver, and yeah, amazing what they'll what they'll do for you if you're in a disaster and you make it out. More front pages coming in: the Chicago Sun Times, chaos and misery. Ooh. Des Moines, uh, desperation grows. Yes, a lot of uh, papers going with that angle. So it's not even a murder or the the looting; it's the rape. Rape. That's just really just taking it to the not funny. Yeah, that just, it's I mean, just it's, like, that's not even about, well, I need shoes, or this will blow over at some point and I need a plasma TV, or, or food. That's just brutal. Yeah. I what mean, because the person, drive, huh? Yeah. Yep, yep, your chest in shit-filled water, and you're still checking out. You still, like, like want to get laid. I'm, I'm on that. <laughs> Give it up! <laughs> so Think of how awful that is. I mean, rape's got to be bad enough. But in that circumstance, <laughs> you've already gone through hell. You've made it. It's like, oh my, hold, I'm being raped now. I know. I was just. I'm Listen standing here, in shit it's water. It's got to be bad enough, you know. In room temperature with plenty of food just, yeah. in the fridge. Right. You with got the, with, with the air conditioner on. Unsettling. Yeah. Nice TVs on or something. Just know. anything to distract think, you. I don't think people down there want to have just regular sex after not showering for five days. Oh, Can you mm. imagine? Yeah. <laughs> I need it's a, I need, just a mess. I need all nice smells. I'm a oh, nice smell guy. Smell, yeah, the smell of shit. You think they should hang up some of those trees, those little car uh, fresheners? I can't in the imagine, man. you got to be a sick fuck. Well, I think that's what they're getting at. Yeah, if you're raping in this. You know they're what saying they're... a lot of the people are drug addicts that don't have their uh, methadone, don't have their uh, heroin anymore, because oh. there's a huge drug problem down there. And uh, now they're just freaking out. And uh, going crazy. What are you using cigarettes? No one's smoking, probably. It's got to be awful. Yeah. Yeah, imagine your cigarettes running out. 
You got to rape. <laughs> you're on your last. <laughs> shit. You're on your last one in thirty. Thirty black fellows come up and want it. You know, guys, it's my last. Yeah, and you make it on the front page of the uh, yeah, exactly. Daily News. Uh, let's go to Dustin, uh, who's in Ohio. Dustin. Hey, what's up, fellas? Hey, hey man. Hey, happy birthday, Jimmy. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. It's kind of being overridden by other stuff, but no, September second is my birthday. Uh, I just wanted to kiss you guys' ass for a second and kind of veer off this whole path that everybody else is going on. You guys are great. Thanks. I've been listening to you guys since you were on NEW, and all these guys are assholes, man. Mm. That's all I wanted to say. Thank all right. Give Thank me a you, car sir. crash. No, that was fine. Thank you. Theo, what's up? Virginia. Hey, guys. Love the show. All right. Um, I was thinking about the whole, like, looting aspect. And you guys could probably help me out with this. Why do we even care if they're looting? Isn't all this stuff like already written off insurance-wise? And couldn't we just let them run around and loot all they want so that we could focus more on saving people? I think it's about restoring order. I think that's more. It's not even the money yeah. or the, the monopoly someone's going to steal. It's about just restoring just complete anarchy. Law. Huh. Oh, well, I don't, I just I, I look at it and I keep thinking that they uh like I mean if you can't if you're busting somebody off to Houston they got a plasma screen make them drop it you know before they get on the bus. Well, I don't think they're bringing big screen television. Oh my God! On no, bus. one of the reporters uh, saw a plasma TV just sitting <laughs> in the middle of Bourbon Street, and, they, really? the guy and, and this guy up. was amazed, like. Where do they think they're walking off to with this thing, you know? Right. If they can see, sne they even can see, like, the small stuff, like maybe sneakers and clothes and whatever. Yeah. But they were amazed. It was a it was a big screen plasma TV just sitting in the middle of Bourbon <laughs> Street because they got the idea to take it and then realized, well, yeah, where are we, where are we bringing this I don't thing? I have a wall anymore <laughs> right. to hang this on. <laughs> yeah. And you can see who's been looting because they're getting into these, like, helicopter rescue things and they're wearing, like, Armani suit jackets. <laughs> 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 like, dirty white socks and Armani jackets. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like where are you gonna bring it? You gonna like show up to like the shelter? You got like a Circuit City like shopping yeah. cart? <laughs> this is all I can say from my house. Everything's still in the box. In the box. <laughs> yeah. you just gotta raise it. Work, man. You know. Let the swoogies loot. Oh, oh man. Oh, uh, Jesus. What the hell is a swoogie? Is that, is that I a think it's of? a derogatory term for an African American. All we know is that our general manager in Boston used that term. In front well, of us, and we've Boston, and we've been using it ever since. We uh, really don't know what the, the exact boy. definition of shwoogie is, boy. but we've gone with it for many years now. <laughs> he was pissed at us because he had to deliver a check it. to the shwoogies instead of go play golf because because we screwed up bad. Because we Boston. screwed up and had to give money to a charity, <laughs> and the only people that would accept money from us as a charity were the uh, black Vietnamese no, no, uh, disabled black Vietnamese veterans. We tried the Jimmy Fund. We tried everything. They did not want Ovi and Anthony money. They the didn't Jimmy want Fund brother. in Boston did not want They'd rather have children money. dying of cancer than take our money. They'd rather have kids uh, with hair falling out yeah. than take our money. So Can the you disabled Vietnam We learned black, a valuable lesson that, uh, that day. Disabled black Vietnam veterans uh, took our money, and uh, Brucey e. Mittman, our GM, had to uh, present the big giant check <laughs> to them. So, you know, typical Boston... Uh, he, uh, he, he marches said, in yeah. while we were doing our afternoon drive said, show. He said, boys, while you were here, I uh, missed a day of golf because I had to present a check to the Schwoogies. <laughs> Schwoogies. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm going to bond with you. I'm going to be edgy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to be on the edge, boys. <laughs> he was a midget that loved his pot, and he was running the whole yeah. place. <laughs> we actually liked the guy. We, we had a love-hate relationship with this guy. The guy was five feet tall, and he drove the biggest Suburban. And uh swear to God, watching him get into that thing was hysterical. We used to tell him, what, just get the rope ladder. <laughs> you look ridiculous enough. How much more ridiculous will it look if a rope ladder rolls out the side and you could climb up it? He needs one of those helicopter baskets to get in it a winch. like he was in a monster truck. Winch. <laughs> just the yeah. worst. Monster truck. <laughs> so that's where the shruggy term came from. Yeah, Brucey Mittman. I forgot what we did that day that, that where we fucked up, but I don't know. I mean, why would we have to do that? Well, it was for our remember. CD. Yeah, maybe that was it. It was for our know. CD. We wanted to do the right thing and get some proceeds to a charity, so we went all around Boston, and that was the only charity that would accept I remember when we, we had a meet with the gays, and he came walking in, and he goes, Boys, the faggots are here. <laughs> right? And we had to march down the hall, and someone had to like just uh, run our show for about a half hour, and they handed out dittos. Oh, they what, handed out all this stuff. What was the one ditto? Like, uh, Mark does, uh, Mar what was it? It was a big coming out thing was the problem they had. It was uh, the, the problem they had was how hard it is for young gay men to come out. Wasn't that over that dumb bit, hi, mom, I'm gay? Yeah. That yeah, was, was all it was, yeah. right? Yep. It was it. 
and and they they got all angry and offended that it's very difficult for a gay man to come out to his friends and family and you making light of this is horrible so we had to sit in this office oh. i can't believe we were at the point in our careers where we actually did this and didn't just punch the gm in the face but i want to go back again he yeah. did walk down and say the faggots are here yeah boys the faggots are here <laughs> And then, and then we go into the general <laughs> yeah. manager's office. He's supposed to be the big guy in charge. And then he's in there very serious and, and reprimanding yeah. us in front of the, quote, faggots. It had nothing to do with him thinking we were wrong and let's bring these people in to sensitize the guys to this. This was purely, I don't need these faggots on my back. We'll have them come in, blah, blah, blah. They'll leave so they everything solved. So you just sit down and they reprimand you? So, like yes, gonna... that is exactly what it was. We sat, they handed out they dittos. They handed out dittos that and they books. had printed up about, like, Books that they took no, out of the library. Johnny tells his family. Yeah. And we're sitting there making like we're reading it. And uh, I got a rod. <laughs> 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 and, and they were talking about, you know, with the, the whole voice and everything. It's very difficult to come out. And it's a very... Um, nerve-wracking thing for somebody and I'm sitting there like oh, I'm going to start laughing I'm going to start laughing and I'm <laughs> biting my lip and uh, that was our day uh, that we had to sit with the faggots as Brucey Mittman put and it and Brucey was like boys take take the dittos home and the books take and, these home and do some homework you know and as soon as the quote faggots left yeah, the faggots. he's like boys you could just throw that away and get back in there and do a good show uh, he, and then f <laughs> no for days I remember he came in and he was like well did you read your literature like he was all <laughs> choking like, <laughs> he was the worst anything we said on the air he was ten times worse uh, behind the scenes yeah and then we'd have to babysit his kids while like, we were trying to do a radio show. Bring his young son and daughter in and sit him down. I've got a meeting, boys. Watch my kids. And bring him in the studio, and we're trying to talk about dicks and pussy. <laughs> right. and you got two, like, pre-teens in the studio. <laughs> as hot as that sounds. <laughs> it became a show-and-tell thing. <laughs> Anthony, I got our Demented World CD, which I don't, even, it, I don't even think they sell anymore. The charity was... The New England Shelter for Homeless Veterans. <laughs> Was that it? Yep. Uh, yeah, and Brett is uh, commenting, they handed out dittos. When did this happen? 1975? Yeah, Hopefully. No, we just uh, dittos. <laughs> yeah, they, they were mimeographing things. Big crank ink all over there. Faggot hands. You <laughs> 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 gotta love Brucey e. Mittman. Uh, I guess we could go to break with the bit that guy's in trouble that day. Hi, mom, I'm uh, gay. Hi, mom, I'm gay. And we'll continue with Bill Burr playing Caroline's all this weekend. Oh, yeah. Read on air. All right, we'll read this on air in a little bit. And we'll talk about our charity, our new charity, Anthony. Oh. Trying to help uh, out the rescue effort, and uh, and we'll talk about it next. It's basically, an ONA, uh, I don't know. Thing. Garage sale, I guess. Yeah, we're selling all our junk. Yeah, mm -hmm. but people seem to be interested in it. People like our junk. I brought some in. I brought in some laminates. What'd you bring? Laminates from a bunch of our uh, appearances, my backstage passes and stuff. Figured, you know, we'd sign those and throw them up. Trophies from your childhood. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got my third place on field day, the 440-yard dash. No, I don't. I have a 1993 Black History Month comedy winner. Oh, really? I won a contest in Red Bank, New Jersey. You really did? Yeah, it was like it was like a Black History Month set like in a theater. It was like they had dancers, singers, uh, all kinds of performers. It was like the Apollo. Crowd was they booed another white comic. They were nice to me, but I was awful back then. I was running around with no shirt on stage and an orange hat. It was just what? Uh, no <laughs> shirt. <laughs> I was trying to be wacky, and it worked. Really? Oh, I was off. An orange hat? Just, I can't even do <laughs> Jim Norton, the zany years. You're zany. Did, did you really? have rainbow suspenders? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been more dignified than the performance <laughs> I gave that night. <laughs> All right, we'll get Eric in here to see where we're at with the charity thing, okay? All right, but for first, raising the tens of dollars. But first, it's Hi Mom, I'm Gay. In studio, Eric, Sex Bagel, The Hawk, Nagel. Good introduction, huh? Hawk. Eric hasn't uh, been around the last couple of days because he's setting up the ONA auction. 100% of the proceeds going to the relief effort down there in New Orleans and Mississippi and uh, areas in between. And uh, are we uh, ready to go or what? We'll be ready very soon. We've got uh, three new items for the auction. Uh, they're pretty cool. We have a VIP Hard Rock Cafe Pass. We have Intern for <laughs> a Day. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> you can't just... 
What's that last item of auction? Uh, VIP pass for the Hard Rock Cafe. I'll give uh-huh. you 10 bucks to not auction it. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Is that one of the uh, passes that I had? I guess so, yeah. Oh, was that one of yours? Yeah, it's one of my uh, backstage passes that oh, we're wait, all going to sign. From, I thought it was a VIP pass for the Hard Rock Cafe next time they do a cool event. Oh, what, do you get like a burger or something? You no, go in, I don't you know. Them. Next time they have a band there or something, you get the VIP treatment. It's an actual VIP pass that has been used before oh, by Of course, by it won't Anthony? get you anything now. Holy it's something to hang on your wall. Stupid <laughs> me, I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking it's a cool Good thing. Thrive. Yeah, you go in there, it'll get you the uh, Ronnie James Dio fries. What do you think you're going to get Look, with a VIP pass at the Hard Rock? Here's the deal. We know we have a huge audience, and we know we have to do something, and we're starting somewhere, and we're hoping eventually real prizes come to the table. Let's just be honest with each other. Oh, you sound like FEMA now. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> Look, we got what we got now. The, he- the good shit's coming. Just deal with this pass and some crap that we scraped up. Hey, hey, you are coming in with the good shit. Trust here's me, some guys. some evidence that someone had a good time this night. <laughs> right. yeah, and it wasn't you. Yeah, you, you were not involved. This radio just stinks on a daily, oh, what do we daily do? basis. I'm All sure right. there's some more items. Hawk, what do you got? All right, what else you got, We're also Hawk? offering intern for a day on the Opie and Anthony show. Intern for a day, so they get to come here. <laughs> yeah, dear they Lord. They get to come in here and uh, <laughs> and help us out and work for nothing. Yes. yes. You won. Get me some coffee. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good one. All right, what else? And this just added a private martial artist session with Master Poe. That's great. But somebody you couldn't get a, a rape in the uh, in the Astrodome to give away. <laughs> I wish I could remember Superdome, Astrodome. <laughs> no one's getting raped in the Astrodome. Hey, someone get my dirty inline skates. Uh, I'll what? You're I'm gonna go- auction those off? Yeah, might as well. That's good. I have a bag of garbage at home. If anybody wants that, just get rid of the shit that none of us don't want to use anymore. I, I got a hat that I wore once. I was thinking like auctioning these off would be a dumb idea, but after the prizes, oh, after I'm the here. crap we oh, brought right. in, all right, I'm gonna auction these off. My inline skates that I've used to come to XM for the last year. And also went to NEW for at least a year before that. These things stink. There's a crack in them. They're falling apart. What's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? But we'll throw them up there for auction, okay? And we'll all sign them. This is the way I, I went to work for like a year. There you go. <laughs> nice. You might as well just bring all the shit to the table. There's eight wheels that have been trekking through dog shit and human <laughs> spit in yeah. the streets of New York and garbage juice. And they smell pretty good, too, because, you know... Uh, Besides coming to work with these, I also do endless loops around Central Park. So, here you go. Here, add this to your auction. Oh, eat these rotting uh, freaking inline skates. That's right. All right, what else you got, Eric? (laughs) I know, I'm not kidding. (laughs) What else you got? Uh, We have a piece of the Rolling Stone pinball machine that Opie destroyed. Oh, well, now here's an item. This is a one of a kind. Remember when Opie smashed the pinball machine? It's a classic Rolling Stones pinball machine brought in by uh, Al Dukes, producer of another show. Ron and Fez. Yeah. No, that's right. It was Ron and Fez. Jesus. They're starting up very soon on this channel. And uh, he brought it in uh, for Opie as almost a peace offering because you two had always had these little, this little underlying problem. Uh, yeah, Al wanted Opie to like him, and yep. Opie just hated him for no reason. That was, that the, was problem. the underlying problem. That was it because Al's an annoying piece of shit. I've never been a fan of the kiss ass. <laughs> Anybody who, like, uh, needs Ope to like them, he just hates. Yeah. I've right. never been a fan of the Kiss Ass. And he, he brought in, life. He, he knew you were a fan of this classic pinball machine, uh, brought in this Rolling Stones pinball machine, and Opie uh, took to it with, well, I guess, what resembled uh, Gallagher's watermelon hammer, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Completely and destroyed smashed it. it right in front of a very sad Al Dukes. Well, one of the pieces made it. A lot of people thought it was a radio bit. Ho, ho. Hope he didn't really destroy that pinball machine. And uh, there it is. So we got a piece of it? piece. Wow, let's see it. Piece of radio history. Wow. That's incredible. It's like having Marconi's original plans for the radio, isn't it? Signed. Same thing, right? This is like the script to War of the Worlds. Why is it? The prices are brutal. (laughs) We got a fish tank. (laughs) It's a terrible (laughs) price. Dude, this is how big the piece is. This is... It fits in a CD case. But it's mixed face. Couldn't you find a bigger piece, Eric? That's what was donated to us. From who? (laughs) Who had it? Who has it? (laughs) Go stab him in the neck with it. 
You really, we, there's like if, if they're all that big, we have ten thousand more auctions. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I guess it's cool in a way. If I give you like five a, bucks for it right now. <laughs> I guess if you're a hardcore fan of the show, it's cool. Who knows? Let's see what this this stuff will uh, get. Up online. How embarrassing is it going to be this is a national radio show and we have a, a, a $600 donation? This how, is the How embarrassing worst. is it going to be when we have to send out a press release that we, you know, raised $10,000? Oh. Wait a minute. Does the piece come with that empty <clears throat> CD case, too? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, they, well, there's photos on the front of the CD case showing what part of the machine it came from. It's almost like the certificate of authenticity. Right. And uh, some action shots of me actually. I'll give, I'll give you $6. A little bidding war. Wow. Ooh, I like that. Uh, wow. That's the way to spice it up, Bill. Yeah, a little excitement. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll add it to the pile. These, these, uh, these items wouldn't be good if you were trying to raise money for someone's flooded basement in Bayshore. This is some of the worst goods I've ever seen. We're, we got no us, one's going to want these. All kidding aside, we we have to start somewhere, and I think we're going to get uh, better prizes as we go on here. So we're going to continue this thing. I hey, think Anthony, for the whole did, month of you September. Did you break one of your shoelaces the other day? I did. Maybe up for bid. Uh... It's up for bid. <laughs> Travis has a pair of my pants that he hasn't worn yet. Ooh. I did bring in some old jeans for the uh, the young go getters. What? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> Wait, I'm you were giving your pants to the <laughs> interns? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you took Opie's pants? I'm, I'm wearing them right now. Wait, you're yeah. wearing my pants? Which ones were those? These are the count. <laughs> They're all yeah. there. Oh. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Not wear them? Yes. Not accept them. <laughs> I had a lot of jeans, you know, and I decided... Uh, hold on, hold on. I got to know this. Did you come in with them and offer them to him? I just threw them down. I said, anyone want these jeans? Go for it. Instead of throwing them away, that's all. And you took them? <laughs> that's not he true. He pounced on him like a looter. Opie asked, what... <laughs> <laughs> Opie asked what size I was, and they fit, so I took them. They're like Why a not? 30 waist or something, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... Ooh. Well, what, what happened after we lost our jobs, I decided to stop eating for a while. <laughs> and my clothes got down to like... Uh, I, I was down to like a 29 waist. 20... Yeah, about a 29. Machinist. So, so now, yeah, I'm, machinist. Oh, oh, without a doubt, dude, I, I was surviving on uh, slim fast and bananas. I, I just refused to eat. I didn't feel like eating for a long time. So I bought all these clothes, and now we're back to normal. And uh, I can't wear them anymore. So I have one pair that I haven't worn. That you I brought can bring two in. pairs home. You gave me two pairs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you walk around and you kind of feel like these are Opie's jeans? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I'm wearing like, the boss's jeans. Oof. So you're going to bring them back in? Yeah, I'll bring the other pair in. All right. I'm going to keep these because I like them. And I cannot and bring wear in your other people's clothes. And no, and I can't have other people wear my clothes. They wanted me to bring in the Periwinkle shirt. Bring it in. No. That oh, that's not famous. Bring it in. No. It's I, a famous shirt. We could get at least $20 for it. No. Why? No one's wearing my clothing. Bill, Bill Burr? What's that? What do you got? I'm just thinking of the thought process you had at your apartment going, am I going to give these to homeless people? Don't you just... No, I'll bring them into work. I didn't... I'm sure somebody wants my old... Did you bring these in my guys underwear, are one, too? These that, guys are yeah. one step above homeless. I, I thought I'd just, help them out. Was you it know just what? Pants? A shirt is okay, but like that's like... You know, your pants. All your cocky yeah. up against it. Yeah, all the cranky ass Opie had oh, yeah. rollerblading in 95 degree weather. <laughs> he got underwear. <laughs> he fucking cowboys it for one day. He did. <laughs> what he I said. mean, that's just nasty. I have worn those without underwear. Underwear. Oh, of all those swear lights to you. and coach. Yeah, swear, oh. to you. <laughs> <laughs> swear to you, man. And aren't are they hanging off of you? No. I'd have to wear a scuba suit underneath the, <laughs> yeah. the yeah. bottom yeah. of it. Just... Instead of giving the guys a bonus, they get my old jeans. Yeah. Now I don't have to buy jeans. There you go. See, he's appreciative. Does he throw you rubbers when he's done? After they were only used <laughs> once? Yeah. Just dump this out. Put it on, son. That is, uh... All right. Yeah, that's a little odd. It's almost like this domination thing and this submissive thing. Definitely. No, I just... Why did you bring him in? That is almost like a domination thing, like, well, wear my pants. Look, I am... You give old clothes to homeless people. Right. I usually... you'll never see again. I usually throw them in the pails outside my apartment, and the homeless people are now wearing my clothes, and I got sick of that, so I said, well, I'll bring them in if the guys don't want wow. them, and I'll just throw them away. That's all. Hand me down. I have a whole bag of clothes that I've been trying to find. The, the homeless thing that they had in, my, in the box in the Manhattan mini storage is gone. Yeah. So I have a garbage bag full of clothes. A lot of them are new. So uh, you got to find one of those Salvation <clears throat> Army bins. Maybe I'll bring them in. Yeah, well, bring them in. Auction them off. We'll, we'll auction all of those clothes off. They're going to be uh, put to good use. Pat has a good idea. Pat. Hey, Pat. Hey, I'd like to uh, see if you all are going to put that uh, pickled punk up for auction. 
You know what? We should get the pickle punk back from Andrew Gore. No. No. We no, no. No. Why not? No. I have a uh, broken boombox with dual cassette. <laughs> dual cassette? <laughs> yeah, yeah. For High speed dub? <laughs> yeah, for recording purposes. <laughs> All right, where's Eric? <laughs> Great for demos, struggling bands out there. <laughs> we got some interesting stuff for auction, so I guess it's all going up uh, during the show here today. I think it has a woofer. Some of the items may even be up already. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, uh, Eric, what else do huh? we have? Uh, we're going through that bag that Anthony brought in, a uh, bunch of... Uh, Batteries. What? <laughs> <laughs> Batteries. Um, there's a couple of old Paisano shirts in there. Old Paisano shirts from Paisano of Mulberry Street. Wow. With your sweat stains? No, I didn't wear them. Nice to, see, nice to see the millionaires coming to the table. Yeah, why not? Here's my old skates and here's my old Paisano shirt, which I never I wore. had it and I went with it. My skates are going to get $1,000 guaranteed. Wow, you think so? Guaranteed. <laughs> no. I'll bet you 100 bucks they don't. <laughs> there's nothing in this whole awful collection that's going to get over 50 bucks. No. I'm going to bring in my leather jacket that I wore on the cover the of The kind of person who would bid on those rollerblades does not have $1,000. Yeah. They're not going to, like, use them. They're going to frame them. Frame it. <laughs> <laughs> like the Hard Rock Cafe. Now, you know what it is? They'll get them, and it'll be show people, these are Opie's rollerblades. And people are like, who gives a shit? <laughs> I know. That's exactly money back. what's going to happen. <laughs> what else you got, Eric? I uh, got a, uh, the latest Robert Plant CD signed by Robert Plant. Oh, hey, that's, hey, that's a celebrity. celebrity. Yeah, yeah, right there. there you go. That's, that's how you're talking. That's not, it's not every day you get a Robert Plant uh, autograph. Signed by Robert Plant. A couple of Travis Tritt CDs signed by him. <laughs> Jesus, uh, Jimmy. A little bit of a drop off. The Travis yeah. Tritt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh, like I said, a yeah, bunch of... end strong, bro. Yeah, it's stupid. What do you got now? A couple of mine Now what? CDs. Now I'll... what? What are you going to end with? A bag of rubber bands. <laughs> um, CD signed by Rat. You have to close with Robert Plant, dude. He sang with Zeppelin. Yeah, now yeah. you got nothing. Stop rifling through your yeah. awful little yellow papers. <laughs> Read them. There's nothing. Uh, there's the uh, the lunchbox that Jimmy destroyed. You said that yesterday. yesterday. Just yeah. say uh, your shit. You have nothing. Yeah, we got a bunch of shit. You've been two days. You've been working on the thing, and you have nothing but a pass, a pair of jeans, and a CD. This Crap. shit that these guys. This broke. just in from uh, Dan. <laughs> We're gonna be auctioning off uh, Eric's toothbrush. <laughs> oh no. What do you mean? Did he finish the joke? <laughs> I, I think it's a funny joke. It's still in the box. Finishing right? the joke is that you're right. <laughs> that's, the, that's the finish. <laughs> I don't know how some of these items are much more val valuable if you have the box. That it yeah. What else you got there? <clears throat> uh, we have the sign that Nathaniel used when Arthur Chien got fired. Oh, <laughs> that's a good item. There you go. That's that, been on but TV. But you got to get like the press clippings and stuff to prove that it's yep. a, uh, a famous that's, sign. That's right? a good. That's a good. Signed one. and dated by our own Nathaniel. All right. Wow. Yeah. That's good. Uh, yeah. Wow. Just wreck a good item. The big signature. <laughs> it's small and discreet. <laughs> that's all I got. Okay. Uh, any <laughs> uh, people are suggesting any flaming attire from Steve. Ah. Some of his flaming shirts or. Yeah. Something like that. That'd be great, Steve. You gotta kick it from, in <laughs> from the white trash line. That really yeah. is awful. At Macy's. Uh, Steve is Steve. entering the studio. How about um? Here he Whoa! Comes. Hey, Steve. He drives a hybrid car. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Plant. <laughs> and hello. Hi, Steve. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, you want some flame shirts? I yeah, have flame shirts would be a big item. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, I got uh, a couple of them easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Sign them. Do you buy them, or do you like, win them at like a carnival? No, I get I, a few of them I've had donated, but I, I do buy a lot of flame shirts, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be stuff you've worn. Yeah, easily. I'll, I'll, I'll put authentic sweat stains in them as yeah. well. He's got a, a gray flame hat on right now. Yeah. Foundry Music hat. Yeah. And yeah. His gray flames. He's got flames on his stay cozy little bear shirt. That's right. And then what about your boots today? Uh, no, no. Regular sneakers today. I don't oh. have the flame sneakers It's going to be on. a big item, though. His back hair and lebony sweat in them, I'm sure. <laughs> Everybody's going to want them. I don't, I don't have that much back hair anymore. Yeah. I know. I went, I went. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. See ya. Here he goes. <laughs> right now. All right, Eric. Drives one of those hybrid cars, you know. Where can the listeners really, really yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Where can the guy. listeners see yeah. uh, these items? That's um, fighting terrorism. We'll have it up on opianthony.com very soon. So there'll be a link on opianthony.com. The uh, items that we have up for auction. What are the starting bids going to be? They all start at one penny. Wow. What? Why one penny? Why would you do that? The way they have it set up. 
who 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 set up with it? The uh, non-profit organization. And then people bid for it, and it goes up. Well, how about... We'll have 12 cents in no time. How about you start it at something? Can't you do that? Can you get some of the items up before the end of the show? I want to see what kind of action we get. Of course. Yeah. All right. Now you guys are going to get shit there. Mocking. Yeah. The tragedy. But now that we're talking about no, the it's items, a, but it's, it's a real charity we set up. Famous. It's a real charity we set up, and all the proceeds will go. Think about now effort. getting that VIP Hard Rock Cafe pass. Now you own it, and it's like, did you hear him talking about it on the air? This is it. This is the pass. See, the more you talk about it, the more popular it gives it infamy. Right. One day, uh, this the little run on uh, best of, and you'll listen and go. Wow, this is I'm looking at the past they're talking about right now. I think we're going to raise some money. Of course we are. And then we're going to get some uh, real items coming to the table. Mm -hmm. Actually, we got some real items uh, mixed in with the shit. Yeah, I got to get a few more things from home. <clears throat> All right. Ooh. We'll take a quick break. We got Bill Burns Studio playing Caroline's this weekend. This weekend. And uh Friday, Saturday, Sunday. People. I think when we get back, we're going to do Bombs and Flubs Volume 3. Uh, I love this. And do you guys want to play the sex offender game today? Ow. Yeah, brand? this is brand new from one of our favorite uh, websites now. Don't say the website yet. No. Shh. 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 We'll talk about that. Thebullet.com. Oh, <laughs> you said it. Now everyone's going to go there and we're not going to be able to log on. All right, lots of action in the studio today. Bill Burr playing Caroline's all this weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think I'll be there tonight, Mr. Burr. Okay. And I got to thank, by the you, way, you'll, you'll get to see my hacky uh, looting bit. <laughs> you got a looting bit? Oh, everybody does at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Very uh, good. I gotta thank the people that responded, by the way. To my website request, thank you all for the nice responses. People right. I asked to update, they responded, so thank you. What's up with the picture you showed us? I have a urinary tract infection. Um, I know it happens, and uh, it was really burning last night. It was yeah. pissing, and it felt like a little ball of fire coming all the way up my urinary tract. Doesn't that happen to chicks? How do you Normally, get that? yeah. I don't you know. Got a girly disease. He really does. I don't know, but I feel fat. The, so, what I want to, uh, <laughs> were you fucking someone that gave you this? Maybe? I don't think so. Did you um, have to drink cranberry juice? I, dude, I've mm. been nonstop at the cranberry juice. But I, I went and bought this stuff. I thought it might be gonorrhea, but then I'm like, well, I haven't gotten laid, so it couldn't be gonorrhea. Mm. Um, I just got tested. So I bought this stuff called Azo, and they said it's going to make your urine orange. And yeah. it did. And there's a nice Did you see the picture? Azo? Yeah. How did you hear about that? I, I asked the pharmacist. Oh. Your dick's on fire. You ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> Words to live by. <laughs> yeah, certainly. It just sounds like a wacky name. Uh, yeah. Azzo. When your dick is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that shit hurts, though, huh? It feel and I well, I, I was worried. Of course, you panic and you think it's VD or something. But I was talking yeah. to to actually Marina at the cellar last night. And she's like, well, does it feel like you can feel it tracing through the entire urinary tract? <laughs> it feels like. Um, on a, on a much huh. lesser level, almost like there's something with its claws hooked into the so, to that to that soft track skin, and as you're peeing, you can feel it like scraping along the side, clawing sides. down. Yeah, and you can feel like this little ball, this little hot ball of uh, that can horrible. trace the whole track of it. This year, that's your inner track condition. That is horrible. Ah, that's just wonderful. Um, hey, uh, and I have a bad foot. Yeah, and you got a bum bum foot. He's got a ski what? boot on today. A what, soft what's ski with the boot? boot? Like, what does the boot do? Keeps us from moving. It does? Yeah. I went, immobilize? <clears throat> yeah. Isolate. I'll mobilize you. I went to a... Uh, You're a mess, Jimmy. I have a grade three osteochondral defect. A whole bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, B, it hurts! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Does anybody, do you guys, do you guys know Anthony? You might understand this. This, oh, this, this is what I, this is what I got. <laughs> um, sagittal and uh, coronal T1 wave images were obtained. Oh, okay, this is the MRI results. What? This is the MRI. You'll, you'll understand this. Uh, there is a grade three uh, osteochondral defect at the medial aspect of the talar dome, which is kind of like Bill said it might be, but it was, it's closer to the talar dome, and it's measuring uh, below in length and in length and width. The bed of the defect demonstrates subjacent marrow edema. The defect demonstrates T1 and uh, STIR uh, hypo uh, intensity, uh, indicative of a partial osseo uh, and croatic fragment. Stop whining. <laughs> <laughs> Subtalar and uh, midfoot articulations are intact. Uh, 
Anterior, medial, and lateral group tendons are preserved. There is chronic Achilles tendonitis. There is a sprain of the anterior uh, talofibular ligament. The collateral ligaments are otherwise unremarkable. Well, no shit. <laughs> the sinus tars and tarsal tunnel are patent. The plantar uh, fascia is intact. Oh, it is? Yeah, and that was something we weren't too sure about. Yeah, I didn't Thank think after God. hearing all the other stuff, it was going to be intact. Oh, I, you know, <laughs> I, I could have, I could have just read the synopsis. You're right. Uh, can we interrupt for uh, Live Bush? Oh yeah, live of course. Bush. Live Bush Keating is in charge of Northcom General Anna Ray, who's it's water. Our active duty general on the ground in Louisiana as well, and Mike Brown is the head of FEMA. Uh, there's a lot of aid surging toward uh, those who have been affected. Millions of gallons of water, millions of tons of food, making progress by pulling people out of the uh, Superdome. There's an issue right now that the Convention Center in New Orleans, Does he the rehearse? General Honoré briefed us on. <laughs> pulling people out. Trying to get food and medicine Superdome. Uh, to the Convention Center. Uh, I got nothing. Working with the governor <laughs> and the Adjutant General and the mayor. He's like Brando. He won't read it beforehand. He just kind of... No. Of the newly arrived MPs to, to shoot uh, some people. secure the site <laughs> so that the food and medicine and water can get in there. Uh, a lot of people working hard uh, to help oh those who've been affected, and I want to thank the people for their efforts. Ah, uh, the results are not acceptable. Oh, oh. I'm heading down there right now. I'm all so at this I'm looking myself. forward to talking to the people on the ground. I want to assure the people of, of the affected areas and this country I got that a we'll bull horn. the assets necessary uh, to get the situation under control, uh, to get the help to the people uh, who've been affected, and that we're beginning long-term planning uh, to help those who have been displaced, uh, as well as long-term planning to help uh, rebuild the communities that have been affected. Did, He's like reading his Iraq speech. I'm looking forward to my trip planet. down there. And uh, looking forward to thanking those on the ground and looking forward to assure people that uh, a lot of we're us. on top of this situation. Uh, the and we'll help people who need help. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I doubt nothing. Nothing. Uh, although I do think he's probably an awful people because even a dumb... A dumbbell like this has uh, people who are who are actually making these decisions, who yeah. are in charge of these uh, divisions, mm -hmm. which is not him, and they are just incompetent. It's more yeah. these people than it is Bush. Um, He's not going to go to New Orleans. The MPs hit If down. he wants to impress people, he should be flown into the Superdome. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that ain't happening. He no. should he he'll, should speak there. He'll either go yeah. to the Houston Astrodome or Mississippi. You're right. He's yeah. not going to Houston. No. All right, then, then, then it's going Mississippi. To yeah, you can't go to Houston, Mississippi. Then it'll look bad if he doesn't go somewhere near New Orleans. Yeah, it'll just people will go look at this motherfucker. Can't even show up. He'll go somewhere real. Maybe the airport. You think? You somewhere. Think? Yeah, he'll just stand there. Find some water and stand in it. Yeah, that's it's, a little it's really deep. bad. He's yeah. gonna go to his ranch, pick up some clothes. So, yeah, <laughs> get some boots, <laughs> auction them off. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to raise money. <laughs> raise <Auction>. money. <laughs> Speaking of which, we got some uh, ideas for more items coming in. Todd, what's up? Yeah, uh, you guys disappoint me a little bit this morning. Uh, <laughs> nobody's mentioned what could be the holy grail of auction items. Uh, private viewing of Ben Todd. Oh, you know what? private we have, viewing. We haven't seen much of old dirigible cock today. Where is he? He's working hard behind the scenes. Doing what? Thanks, guys. Punching out. All right, let's say hi to Dave in Indiana. Dave. Doing what? Hey, boy. Hey. Little Jimmy. Uh. John. You guys want to take that show on the road? Watch it auction off a show at somebody's house. You know, it's Punching a, out. You know, it's an old bit, but it's not a bad idea. Oof. Yeah, that'd be great. I guarantee you guys would get some good money for that one. Well, that'd be awful. Can you imagine, right, though, if it's some house in the middle of nowhere? All the money disinfecting it so Anthony will walk into it would probably exactly. cancel out the auction money race. <laughs> like I'm going into someone else's house? You're going to have yep. to make it look like the house in E.T. <laughs> really? You're going to wear a beekeeper suit. Be the yeah. DJ in the plastic bubble. Right. got to sit there at the kitchen table with that sticky grape juice circle. Oh, the of kids course. Drink. We should, I'm supposed to sit on his couch? We should think about it, though. It's not a bad idea. Oh, keep thinking. Yeah, especially if it only gets like 400 bucks. No, yeah, we would 
you'd have to get, have a minimum, you know, a minimum. A minimum of a million dollars. <laughs> right. Right. Because we're fancy people. And we need equipment where I could uh, broadcast from the Escalade <laughs> in his driveway. <laughs> as you guys go into that Petri dish. <laughs> <laughs> I say we at least think about it. Hey, I'll fuck it. I'll fuck it. I'll auction this off. I'll, however much people think I should pay for Anthony to sleep in my bed for a night. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! If you're in it, <laughs> <laughs> how does everything become a homo joke on the show? I don't know. I don't know. And what well, it is? We've just given up. A bunch of faggots. You brought the homo to the show, and we just. I have... didn't bring the homo we to the show. There was we... no homo on this there show. Really wasn't before much you. homo Hi, Mom, before I'm gay. you. Your signature bit with uh, people saying I'm a faggot we, on the radio. What are you talking about? We would go down that road just. Just quickly and, and and with a little cuteness to it, but you right. brought the full homo to this That's show. That's not true. Certainly and we did. we gave up and we can't yeah we yeah. can't hold you back anymore. You're the one <laughs> you're the one gallivanting backstage with dittos and things of that ilk, reading their literature, <laughs> learning. You brought the homo to this show. I did not, but there's a good painting on Rent Boy here, where it's uh yeah the book should, you brought in. I brought <laughs> this in. Rent this, Boys. This is really hardcore gay literature. Not bad really? written, if you have to know. And uh, I would uh, make I would, the interns read it. That was yeah. a punishment cover. <laughs> Good answer, Bill. The uh, punishment was that they had to read a chapter of Rent Boy. Um, and it was actually an idea I got from a girl who gave yeah. me that book. It's something we obviously did before you uh, mm -hmm. joined the program. Someone is attracted to that. Look at that photo. Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should sign that and auction that Rent Boy book off. Oh, that's a big item. Right. I think so. It the Rent Boy been, book. It has been used on the show. It has been. All right. <laughs> One of the more interesting reactions comes from the Netherlands, another flood-prone country where engineering experts say if the U.S. had a system of levees as good as theirs, lives could have been saved. Charlie? Great. Why don't you send some wood <laughs> shoes over here? The rest of the world should be smashing the response That's to this. That's funny. Though. What? Wood shoes. The wood funny. shoes joke? No. <laughs> yeah, those cute wood shoes. I know. All right, I tried. There you go. Ben is just saying something over. What is it? I uh, know. We're looking at uh, front pages of papers from uh -huh. a, from across America. Frustration boils. That's uh, Baton Rouge, and another desperate SOS coming in from Las Vegas. SOS. What an embarrassment this is. The whole world is watching this abysmal response to yeah. a tragedy right here in this country. And loving every second of it. Of yeah, and that, you know are. what, though? The U.S. W the U.S. sticks our fucking noses in everywhere, and at times that's great, uh, but when shit happens here and you can't take care of it, don't, e don't expect the rest of the world to be sympathetic. Wow, there's a fire burning there, huh? That's a biggie. Where is that? I don't know. New Orleans. Somewhere in, uh, yeah. Uh, let's go to Steve in Wisconsin. Steve. Yeah, O and A, little Jim, how you doing? Hi, fella. Hey, I was just calling to say uh, I heard Sirius is going to donate four Sirius satellite units so they can plug up the levee today. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> very good, buddy. Ed in Oklahoma. Ed. Hey, man. Hey, hey, hey man. How's it going this morning? All right, Ed. Hey, I was wondering if you guys heard about the Oklahoma City DJ that got fired yesterday. For the, this kid called him collect from the Oklahoma City County Jail, told him that he molested a five-year-old girl, and the DJ told him, well, why don't you take a shirt and hang yourself? The kid did, and they got all over the DJ and fired him. Are you kidding? I didn't read that no, one. No, It was at 94.7, the buzz. All right, we'll look into that, definitely. Why would they fire the guy... For uh, I don't know. saving taxpayers' money. There seems to be a little more to that story. We'll uh, absolutely we'll try to get some news on that. Unless they find, unless there's some kind of a stupid law, yeah, that prohibits you from encouraging <laughs> someone to commit suicide. All right, thank you. Let's go to Great Neck, Mike. What's up? Hey, listen, Jim. No joke. Seriously, get yourself to a doctor and get some antibiotics prescribed to you. Yeah, I am. Okay, good because that goes real bad real fast. Okay, so, yeah, I'm, I'm all right, man. I'm all going right. actually today. I have to. I uh, get some kind of an antibiotic, but I, it actually feels a lot better since I just started taking this. I took this Azo last night, and I feel like 50% better today. All right, Frank in Tennessee. What's up, guys? Hey. Uh, I will be uh, willing to donate money to your auction if for a week I don't have to listen to Jimmy's annoying hyper-pronunciation voice, please. Oh, you're not a fan, sir? I'm not a fan. Who's the guy from the other day? How could yeah, sure, anyone no, no. not like Jimmy? So you're not, you're I don't not, understand. So sorry, you're not a fan, but do you still listen to the show? I listen to the show for uh, mostly Anthony. I find him to be hilarious. So how does Thank it feel you. to know that 
Now, um, wait, stop it, Jimmy. I'm Let just, that just Jimmy, sink in. I'm Jimmy. He makes a good point. He certainly did. But does it bother you that, like, I'm on your favorite radio show and I'm going to continue to spoil it for you? Absolutely not, because I know in a little while you'd be leaving uh, to do your stupid uh, show or whatever you have to stupid. do. Stupid. <laughs> two weeks gone, one week back. Yeah. Two weeks gone, one week back. Jimmy, a stupid it, HBO your show. Dumb yeah. show that's going to pay it's you millions. Silly. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You get millions of dollars. So what? Yeah. Jimmy's not going that anywhere, sir. Yeah. So, so, so your pants. Dude, do you understand? And I'm I mean this sincerely. Like listening to me. I mean this sincerely. <laughs> you're a paying customer, and your opinion We're is of no asses. value to anybody. Hey, Jimmy, uh, guess what? I'm a paying customer for XM Satellite Radio. Exactly. I all the channels. Keep I paying, to stupid. Today from the morning. Shh, just keep paying, fella. Right, Frank. Just keep paying, Frank. Thank all you, right, Jimmy. Thanks. All right. That's thanks. right. I kind of liked Frank. Frank, <laughs> I didn't care for him, and yet you did. I didn't really mind Frank. Anthony liked Frank. I'm kind of on the fence with Frank, and Jimmy hates him. No, you, you, at least he he didn't like me, but he didn't even mention Ope. He just mentioned Ant. He's no, to get but us he didn't all say I. Tizzy. He didn't say I yeah. stunk. He just says he he listens to Anthony. That's right. <laughs> hey so, Frank, if you have Anthony if you show. have kids, I hope they're abducted. What do you think of them apples? <laughs> Stupid. All right. One more story about uh, what's going on, and then we'll move on to bombs and flubs. How, how does that sound, guys? Very good. All right. Good Morning America had this piece on uh, the refugees, and where will they go? Here or in other states. Hmm. That's the latest on that. Doesn't sound good. Bush is heading an to understatement, huh? Mobile, Biloxi, and New Orleans. Hmm. Oh, he's, he's taking off. He's on the helicopter. He's taking off. Or is he just taking the helicopter to the to the jet? To Air Force One. Yeah, that's just to get him to the uh, the old penny. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Good luck to you. Godspeed. Want to switch uh, gears? Yes. Today? All right. You want to do bombs and flubs? All right. Jimmy, are you annoyed? I want uh, that guy Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear to God. I want to sink my teeth into his face. I know you do. Just bite him. Yeah, I ha what I, I hate about people is I just I hate their anonymity. I wish I mean again I know they're out of state and they can't come in here. It's just mm -hmm. a frustration because I'm used to dealing with people face to face as a stand. -up. Yeah. And if a guy heckles you, you address him and you look at him. And I just I hate I hate the anonymity. Yeah. These like the, fucking the guy. What was his name? languish in. Uh, Steve from Yellowstone. <laughs> Like that exactly. guy. Exactly. The anonymity that there. Pussy. I think, I that think that's bastard. the over enunciation that drives Frank so crazy. Yeah, right there. Hey Frank, I, I swear to God, I hope I hope your wife loses one of her tits. Oh, I swear God. to God. I hope that you have she, to she I hope you have anything. to tell her that, that that half a bra looks good and you still love her. <laughs> while your friends laugh behind your back. You might be taking pleasure in the fact that he got under your skin, though, sir. Oh, I don't care. I'm not, I don't play a sight game with people. He irritated me and I want to bite him. And you're an anonymous motherfucker and I hate you. Drunk driving accident for your kids. That's what I say to you, fucko. Let's play bombs and flubs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. I'm not even kidding. I'm not trying to be funny. No. A drunk driving accident, and their little bodies dragged out. One Aww. shoe in the back seat. <laughs> little patent leather a buckle little, shoe. A patent leather shoe with what looks like cranberry sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that enunciated well enough for you, shitbag? The little buckle and the little <laughs> the little sock with the ruffle at the yeah, top. Yeah. And a hole in it where that toe would have been if it didn't come off in that fucking door hinge. Oh, God. What is wrong with you guys? I'll be at Caroline's this week. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. All right, bombs and flubs. We'll start with bombs. How's that sound? Bombs. Of course, bombs. these are the... Uh, Comments that at least one person in the studio thought were funny, <laughs> and the rest <laughs> uh, somehow just didn't see the humor. Maybe weren't listening, but it really uh, and, it bombed. And most listeners uh, hated it too. Of course they did. <laughs> All right, so here's the first one. Who is it? Who gets the the first one? It's from Anthony. God damn it! I have a lot of bombs. I throw a lot of shit out on a daily basis. Well, let me tell you, <laughs> not something. all gonna stick. Let me tell you something, Anthony. Yeah. Your only bomb. No way. In bombs and flubs, volume three. Come on, I got plenty. This is your only bomb represented here. Here's Ant. What's the deal? He's, uh, they bandaged it up. He just had to wait a while. He took some X-rays. And uh, he's going to call in like a couple minutes. He's just going into Dwayne Reed, to get, I guess, to get a prescription filled. It took him a while because uh, his hog donated blood for all the victims of the London bombing. <laughs> Nothing? 
His hog donated blood for all the victims of the London bombing. Well, it was a little, little wordy. Yeah. All right. Drop that down. All right, and oh, we, we added the, put a tone. Yeah, we added a tone so you know we're back live. I like how quickly you realized you were bombing. I you knew it as I was like, saying Nothing. it. As it was coming out of me, I was like, this is going nowhere. And and the reason in my head? Too wordy. I yeah. absolutely knew why that bomb. His hog donated I blood to the victims to of the London. To the victims of the London bombing and blah, blah, you're shut just, up. You're just running to the end of the sentence. Oh, I just <laughs> want to get it out of there and <laughs> cover it up. That was the day Ben uh, didn't show up for work because he got hit by a cab, by the way. It was one of the days? <laughs> one, one of the, the many days. days he didn't show up for work. He's been much better lately, though. All right, speaking of uh, Ben, he's uh, the next one that bombs. Check out Ben. Uh, ben. 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 There's one for the flubs. All right, ben, stop. Ben. <laughs> There's a Nathaniel writing it down. <laughs> Here's Ben bombing. All right, Mike. Well, uh, come back with your head I lowered in shame. I will. I will. I'm on my way. Good right. job. Look at yeah, the bright slink, side. Slink back, Mike. Look at the bright side. You got the guy that made his uh, terrible wow flyers going around Times Square. That guy from yesterday. The crazy guy that was in here. <laughs> this terrible flyer. Well. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, no one would be listening to that at all. <laughs> no one was listening to him at all. <laughs> I just like how he kept going and going, waiting for a reaction from somebody. <laughs> you got to admit, that guy was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> right, and did you hear live. fucking SpongeBob Skull trying to cover it up and just keep talking? Like, you know what, though? I mean, the guy really, really was his flyer. Yeah, yeah he was crazy, yeah. <laughs> Bomb. <laughs> Little fucking trick of, like, when it bombs, you know, we, you turn it into a serious statement quickly. Sure. <laughs> yeah. and Never meant it to be stunk, a joke. But, I mean, I heard he really worked hard on them, you know. <laughs> Never meant it to be a joke. <laughs> All right, the next one is from old Jimmy Norton. Uh-oh. Jesus, how the hell did you find one of these? <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. What's wrong, Jimmy? No, it's got your past. Oh, I well, but what? Didn't, you made us all look. I'm sorry. Did I ruin it? What no. It? What? No. Jimmy? There was just something that said bitter ant. That was the name of the product. I was oh. just thinking that thing. Because Me when I'm all bitter? Yeah, but it, it, it just doesn't hold <laughs> <laughs> That one bombed in theory. <laughs> bombed well uh, in advance in your head before it ever came out. Yeah, so kind of you knew that was going down. You knew. <laughs> I just love hearing, like, as you lose confidence, as it starts to Oh, bomb, yeah. You start off, like, really decent volume. Yeah, that's kind of like the guy, you know. <laughs> you just become this fucking little four-year-old. I want some ice cream. <laughs> All right, the next one is from Rich Voss, bombing on the Opie and Anthony program. I want to be on the cover of Tiger Beat with, like, a white bathing trunks with the lining torn out, <laughs> yeah, nice about, and wet. How about the cover of Nambla Weekly? <laughs> well, was, uh, I think that was necessary. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good line. I, I didn't hit the button. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> is there a Namba Weekly? A Namba. Namba. Nambla? Yeah. Nambla. Nambla Weekly. Um, think, no, know. it was just an awful attempt. Yeah. We watched it. That was like a really inside thing, and he knew what mm -hmm. Nambla was. <laughs> Fucking dope. I'm educated. All right, the next bomb is from old Jimmy Norton oh, again. Oh, no. She said yeah. that uh, I, if Andrew gave yeah, him I was the, the pictures he took I, because you smashed her camera, she would give him a blowjob in exchange. That you want to blow it up today, Andrew? Offered. She offered. No. He didn't no. accept it. <laughs> she would definitely uh, do it for you. Yeah, she certainly would. Oh, no. Then she said, even if you don't give me the pictures, I'll give you a blowjob. <laughs> Those nice ratty no, teeth wrapped finger? around it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and you should have yeah, sucked it too. Jimmy. 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 <laughs> All right, let's get Sandy Kane in here. <laughs> I didn't even know where the bomb was. Yeah, there. I don't get that one. It was, the, no, my, the, even if she doesn't give you a blow, you don't bring the pictures, she'll give you a blowjob. Yeah. This is a mild, huh. weak yeah, attempt that, at humor. All right, that wasn't that bad. That's no. right, then, you piece of shit. <laughs> uh, this one is titled Ben. So Ben's bombing here. Then it says Voss impression. Does Ben do a Voss impression? Wow. Probably. Ben then, doing impressions. And then it says gotta be good. Comma Jim Flub. Okay. Let's take a listen. That one made page six. Yes, it did. It. <laughs> one of Ben's parties actually got into page six in the paper about the celebrities that were there and. Yeah, and fun. Voss. Voss. Hey, it's Voss. 
So. Oh, Jesus. I'm out of here. Why? I was like, I'm wrong with a good birthday bomb. Car crash. No, no, no. no. Not even. You're in a category all by yourself, man. That's not even a car crash. That's just a cake falling off the floor and thudding. <laughs> falling <laughs> off the floor? <laughs> yes, because the house was turned upside down <laughs> in a tsunami. Falling off the floor. <laughs> no, cake fell off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Candle right through her head. <laughs> a bomb and a flub, all in one. That stupid Ben doing that Voss impression. Hey, it's Voss. Hey, hey, little boy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> like Mark, that was his Mark Perino impression. <laughs> Terrible. Hey, it's Voss. And no That's when you know you're doing an awful impression, you have to say the person you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Bill Clinton. <laughs> 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 he starts with, hey, hey, hey. this is the guy I'm impersonating. <laughs> he claps his little fat hands. Hey. Hey, little boy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just laugh. A one f- little fat-headed addict alone with his merriment. <laughs> uh, the next bomb is from um, myself here. All right, I'm prepared to bomb. I'm not even No, no, don't. Don't prepare. So I was going to go, Jimmy's not on the South Beach diet. He's on the South Bronx diet. Hookers and losing weight. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see where it could have been cute. <laughs> that one actually brought shame into the room. Yeah. That was so bad. Uh, people are commenting that this is the worst tone that was used it's ever. Awful. It's one of those raise your right hand if you hear it in your right ear yeah. kind of tones like you heard in school during the hearing test. Where did you get that? That is horrid. Van? <laughs> horrid. It's on. No, it's not. Uh, no. There you go. Got headphones on. No, now it's back. Um, I just It's just something it generated from by the uh, editing software. It's like an old 50s tone. Yeah. It's like one of those books you read as a sound kid. Effects. Yeah, you know, it's time to turn the page. Well, people don't like it. Sorry. All right. We'll find a a new tone for the next. I like this one. It's annoying everyone. Keep it. All right. The next bomb is from Rich Voss again. I'm uh, 37, Rich. 37? Wow. Same as your waist size. Uh, Nothing. They told me to call to be mean. Well, that was mean spirited because. I can't be mean because it's your birthday. First of all, I don't even like doing the. Hmm. All right. That's just pretty much rich being on the show, isn't it? <laughs> He's so experienced with bombing, too. He just plows right through. Plows ahead. I like when he goes, but, ah, uh, like he's changing the subject and it goes nowhere. Boss is a laugh track in his right head. right there. <laughs> 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 he just hears smiles and laughs. He hears smiles. Oh, uh, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> the next bomb is from old Jimmy Norton. Oh, who? We got to talk about the Jesus statue that opened its uh, eye. Oh, a little creepy. There's not, it's not a big mystery, though, by the way. No. Somebody was being loud in the house. Um. <laughs> it stinks, but I don't like it. <laughs> I just meant that, uh, that there was no mystery, because the joke would have been that it's obvious he opened his eye because somebody was loud, and he was like, what? Right. Oh, good Lord. Hello, exactly. <laughs> That's a good one right there. Wow. <laughs> what an abrupt stop. Uh, there was six seconds of dead air after that line. And then he just goes, ah. <laughs> and then he started feeling <laughs> uncomfortable. That was like a cabin pressure thing. <laughs> <laughs> Catastrophic loss of cabin yeah. pressure. No laughs, frost on the windows. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's good. <laughs> Woo. All right, the next bomb is from Nathaniel, sitting to my left today. Knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive who? I love petting puppies until they die. 
That's all right. No? All right. Nope. You might want to pet yourself there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you should pet that joke. You got it. <laughs> oh, at, well, someone's laughing. Well, yeah. like, three what? clowns in that room. Yeah. I mean, never take a chance, Travis. Oh. Sure. Oh. Oh. Enjoy anonymity, stupid. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh he yeah. smashed you. He may have bombed, but he's calling you a pussy boy, and I think he's right. <laughs> never take a chance, Travis. Wow. <laughs> Can I point out that I, I like the fact that the guy who creates the bit and uh, and and does all the editing puts in his own um, bomb uh, slash segue into a kill. Exactly. Yep. Absolutely. Sorry. He was able to rehash the whole Travis thing. Anytime I could make fun of Travis again, yeah. I would take advantage. He fought back well there. Who? He did after yes. he, he bombed. Yeah, he did. All opie pants. <laughs> that fucking awful shirt he has on is really. That is a pedophile shirt. <laughs> making me physically ill. I think Henry Lee Lucas wore that when he yeah, killed his victim. Fucking creep. A little checkers. A little checkered shirt. <laughs> nice. All right, the final bomb. Um, and this next one is just for a little background. We're listening to the audio from Saturn. Remember that weird audio? Oh, yeah. That's the weird sound you'll, you'll uh, hear. The radio <laughs> telescopes picked up these weird sounds from Saturn. That's the background sound you'll hear. Okay. Here's Jimmy bombing. Yeah. And they're not explaining this further yet? No, that's pretty much it. It's just radio waves from Saturn. You're hearing them. Is there they are. Some form of intelligent life? I don't know. I don't think so. If you listen close, you can hear cathedral. Cathedral. <laughs> so that's an ongoing that's your science. That's your science lesson for the day. From popular science. People want that audio. Where the fuck can I get that audio? That's creepy as hell. Any Nine Inch Nails album. Yeah. Wow. All right, let's go to Greg in California. <laughs> Just go to Fark.com. That's Literal. where we found it. Yeah. We should give Fark a, a good plug. Yeah, that. that came off of Fark. <laughs> Those two jokes, let's acknowledge this. My last two jokes bombed so bad, no one made eye contact with her. <laughs> that bad. It was almost like you had all walked in on me. You ever see Prince of Tide when Nick Nolte's a boy being fucked in the ass and his brother looks in the window and sees it and then shoots the perpetrators? That's how the feeling I just got. <laughs> like you all just peek through the curtain and saw me being raped by an older gentleman. <laughs> that bad. I was listening, too. <laughs> yeah, that it. was a fucking good double bomb. That was. Then he came back strong, though. Of course. Those were awful. All right. right. People saying that tone is the same beep they used to uh, advance the frames during one of those slideshows you used to get in uh, school back in ye olden days. <sighs> wow. All right, we'll do uh, flubs before we get out of here for the week. We got a couple of phoners today, too. What? A couple of phoners. Really? Let me look. Where? Where's my sheet? Guests. Guests? I don't even look at that section of the prep sheet anymore. I have no idea who that is. And I have no idea who that is. Kelly Hansen, new singer of Foreigner. Come on, didn't we hear a little of uh Why are we talking to the him? The new Foreigner. Didn't we hear it? And then said it was really good for Foreigner, but... Yes, Jim? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is what he does now. Uh, yeah, he, yeah he, did, he didn't bring uh, the homo to the show. As he pulls down his pants and farts into the microphone. <laughs> mm. Didn't need to see that. No. no. Yeah, now he's You're just right, Jimmy. His You're pants right. Now. It's not gay, though. It's a bunch of men sitting around being men. Oh. Now he just pulls Here. his pants down and farts into the mic without that his pesky hairless material. Asian ass. Yeah. <laughs> that's how he takes. That's how he takes leaks in the bathroom now. Oh, like he little little walks up to the urinal and will pull his pants down to his knees and start <laughs> peeing like he's a six-year-old at Shea Stadium. And it's not just us that go, you know, go to that bathroom. It's other people on the floor. So there's strangers in there. Mm -hmm. Let them look. It's an eyeful. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what this is about. Jason in Florida. Jason. What's up, guys? Happy birthday, little Jimmy. Thank you, Jason. Okay. A social media went terribly wrong yesterday. Horribly wrong. I was doing, uh, we had all said, of course, Rick and Bubba, uh, which we all know, which is hardcore down here. <laughs> we were going to do them, the local TV station, plus the radio station. Rick Thank and you. Bubba's security.
tackled us dead center before we were going on the air. You got blocked from going on the air to do an assault on the media. Oh, it was, I mean, I'm talking knee-deep, right in the legs, and they popped us hard, their security. He's basically saying nothing happened. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And what? Well, spent the night in jail and uh, have just been released about eight minutes ago and heading home. Why were you in jail? For what? They, uh, they said we were trespassing on private property. Were you? No, it was, uh, they were doing a relief, and Rick and Bubba had set this up with the TV station and the local uh, radio station, and they had been talking about it since Monday, and we figured, why not? Who's Rick and up? Bubba? I know, I don't know. Rick and Bubba's a, uh, they're big down here in the South. They, oh, I'm sure they're hilarious. They must be huge. They, oh, their security, no kidding, it was three of us. We had our okay signs. <laughs> All right. Uh, T-shirts, and they tackled us dead center. How many uh, security guys they have? Uh, 18. Did they? Yeah, I'm sure they did. <clears throat> All right, thank you, Jason. Congratulations. You got the name Rick and Bubba on our show today. No, no, no. Hey, big fan down here, guys. All right. Rick and Bubba. No one has 18 security people, sir. That's got to be a hoot. No, listen. Uh, they're Rick and Bubba. They're, they're you stammer. get it, Rick and Bubba. Bubba Thanks, Bubba. Jason. I bet you Cooter does the weather. That's probably a funny show. Yeah. Speaking of the assault on the media... Rick and Bubba, tune them in, give them a listen. The assault on the media contest for August is over, Anthony. Mm -hmm. And the winner is Stephen the Lion Man in Alabama. Right. His video will be up on opianthony.com, the winning video for the month of August. Steve wins a MiFi portable satellite radio from myradiostore.com. He also wins dinner with E Rock at Paisano of Mulberry Street in oh. Little Italy. What a prize. Oh. He also won a trip to the studio to watch the show through, through the glass. Through the glass. Not in the studio. He also won a pair of tickets to see Bon Jovi live at the opening night of the new Nokia Theater in Times Square. Mm. And finally, Stephen the Lion Man in Alabama, the winner of the Assault on the Media Contest for August, has won. 30 days free video game rental from Gamefly.com. Congratulations to Stephen the Lion Man in Alabama. Congratulations. The winner of the Assault on the Media contest for August. And we're starting this contest right up for September, right? Mm hmm. And we'll have uh, more fine prizes get to give away to the winner at the end of this month. A lot of, uh, lot of press will be at the beaches over the uh, weekend. They all go to the beach because it's the last big uh, weekend of the summer. Labor Day weekend, so uh, try to win. You never know. We have no one in the lead for the month of September. No it's one. wide open as we head into the weekend, mm -hmm. so there you have it. Details on the Assault on the Media Contest are up on opianthony.com, foundrymusic.com, and that's about that. Okay? Right. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Oh, speaking of Gamefly.com, yeah, we should talk about Gamefly.com for a minute here. Uh, I also want to say uh, Bill Burr in studio, very funny guy, playing Caroline's all this weekend. Go out and see him if you're in the area. I'm going. I think I'm, we're going Saturday. Going oh, right. Saturday. Thank God. So do a good show Saturday. The other do, ones. Do I good. Do, do good. Do good on that day. You do good show. Last time I saw you, you killed. It was Charlie Murphy and uh, Donnell. Donnell. Mm -hmm. Donnell, really funny as well. Charlie Murphy, whatever. No <laughs> offense to you, Bill, because I know you guys are friends. You killed. You you were so much better than him, and he was the headliner that night. Yeah, but I mean, he's only been doing it. For, I know your friends. For like you don't, you six don't have to. Or whatever. You don't have to defend him. It's just my uh, my observation. You we'll put killed. it this way: if Charlie wasn't there, I would have been performing in front of eight people. Really? Is that how it goes? That's you'll... so weird. Yeah, there's something about that fame thing. It's crazy. Yeah. People just seem to show you're, up to you're, see. You're it. getting a name for yourself too, though, Mr. Burr. Yeah, hopefully. Anyway, GameFly.com. Oh, that's my cue. Well, it doesn't happen. You to like be. games, do you? You like them? You buy games and then you get them home and go, ah, this stinks, and I just spent like forty bucks and now you're screwed. What do you do? You go to GameFly.com. And can I ask you something? Sure. You're up on the latest games, Tomb mm -hmm. Raider, a game I used to play. Yeah. 
You're yeah, laughing. I know. Well, everyone's laughing. But this, that's so old school. It's I know, but they got a, a new one that came out. Yeah. Did it come out and no one cares, or what's the deal? Do you know I, anything I about have, it? No, I, I've never been into Tomb Raider, but I hear they were kind of revamping it. And, and They were ready to release it, and then they, they, they bailed on it. I know that. I guess no one really cares about the Tomb Raider series anymore. I saw it in our little video game store the other day. You did? It was on display, so I was just wondering if there's, uh, if there's any buzz on this game at no all. No buzz at all. Okay. No buzz. But if you wanted to check it out, <laughs> what? What, Bill? Go. I'm just laughing at you. You keep trying to defend Tomb Raider, and he's just swatting it down. It stinks. Isn't it kind of good? No. No. It's awful. <laughs> the game has always sucked. But weren't a couple people talking about uh, it? No, never. they weren't. I, Not a one. I enjoyed the game for a little while there. I haven't played a version of the game in, I don't know, five or six years. What was the last game you played? I've been uh, haven't played in a while. Space Invaders. Yeah, my gaming is Space a lot different than Anthony's. I'm I'm doing uh, Hot Shot. Hot Shot Golf? Yeah. Yeah. Four. That's F- pretty good. F O R E. I do the Tiger it. Woods. Yeah, I did Tiger, Tiger Woods, Woods as golf. well. I, I love all the golf games. Mm hmm. I'm still playing Medal of Honor. That's a good yeah. one. I like that game. Yeah, good series. It's not a bad game at all. Siphon Filter? Anybody? I that love was very good. I loved, yeah, yeah, Siphon Filter. My my brother is addicted to all the Siphon Filters. I played the, I think it was the first or second version. I played the second one. But they're up to like five or six now, right? They kept going yeah, with that series. Yeah, good game, good story. I like when there's a lot of shit to do in a game. Like good that. soundtrack. That's Logan! Why I didn't like Logan. <laughs> yeah. Bring back memories? <laughs> yeah. That's Logan. why I didn't like the Tomb Raider games. Tomb Raider was a s- jumping puzzle game. It's pretty much it. It's like a 3D Mario Brothers. It You're just one, jumping up and down. It was one of those games. It was a nightmare to save it too. Yeah. So you would do all the. You would have to figure out like how to jump perfectly to get from one ledge to another. It was yeah. really tricky. And if you missed that jump, you had to start all the way back. Nothing way too better far than back. Having to go over a point in a game 500 times to get past it because they don't have a save feature. Right. And you get to the last thing you got to do, and you fall, and oh. it brings you back to that. And you would get to that same part. Where you just can't do it, and and the panic would set in because you yeah. know all the time you invested to get right back to that ledge again uh-huh. with the snake on the other side, and you got to get to that ledge just perfectly, or the snake is gonna you know get you. Yeah. Over and over and over again. Just games should be made where you got a save feature anytime you want it. Did I ever tell you the story? I had to replace my PlayStation because of Tomb Raider, because of that exact scene I'm describing. You threw it. You had to jump. I think it was backwards. Uh, what you had to do with the control was ridiculous. Mm. Backward flip onto this ledge, but you had to time it perfectly because they had this huge snake on the ledge. And if you missed, you fell into I guess I forget now, like a well or something. And and that was it. You had to start way back in the game. I finally picked up my PlayStation and just slammed it on on the ground and destroyed it. <laughs> of course you did. And I loved my PlayStation so much. Then I had to go out and get another one. And then stupid me, what do you think? I'm right back at the game. Yeah, they're addicting. Go ahead. Sorry. GameFly. That way you're not buying games and uh, realizing they suck, and then they just sit there. You could uh, take out two games at a time. Games that you keep as long as you want. No late fees. And if you really like the game, all you do is click keep it in your game queue. And you get the mint condition box and you get the manual delivered to you. All like you bought it brand new. And all at a great member discount. Go to Gamefly.com slash XM. Get signed up. It's only twenty one ninety five a month. But you can start with a free two-week uh, XM trial. No commitments. You cancel any time you want. Start playing all those latest releases that you've wanted to play. And they uh, got 2,500 titles to choose from. All the platforms. Xbox, PS2, GameCube. Game Boy Advance. What do you got? The new PSP? Hmm. If there's no late fee, can't you just play the whole game and then be like, I didn't like it? Come back like six weeks later? You absolutely can. Well, that's You okay. could do that if you want. I'm sorry, man. I'm just, just <laughs> looking for a loophole there. <laughs> you found it. Boy, you're a tricky one. Now they... No, okay, forget it. Gamefly's done. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. You've just undermined their entire Thanks, plan that they had. We got three sponsors. <laughs> and one's going away thanks to you. Two games at a time. Hey, no <laughs> shipping charges either way. Either. Mm, you keep the games as long as you want. No late fee. Uh-oh. But All the games you, you just... want. <laughs> yes, yes. If there's no late fee, Bill, yes. <laughs> I guess technically you could just keep the game. <laughs> yeah, what do they do in that case? Do they bang on your door eventually with the National Guard? <laughs> they do a private blockbuster. Though. After a certain amount of time, if you don't pay, bring it back, they consider it bought. And you That's pay for it. right. Gamefly... <laughs> dot com slash xm we had a little something on that and you had to stop the bit in its tracks there no you asked the question so I answered it we're gonna have a little you with your information yeah we're gonna have a little more fun and then Damn maybe it. give the info eventually I didn't think you knew 
Yeah, yeah, we, we knew, but we were going to have fun. And well, don't blame me because you're a good actor. How was I supposed to know? You look scared oh. and confused. We were going to fly dot com. You know, I just figured it. You know what? We had a whole scenario where people were struggling to keep the game, and they were pulling to try to take it out of their hands. I, I, had, I felt it. momentum. It was yeah, building. Right? Yeah. yeah. I felt the right build. Yeah. I, I sent something. I just didn't know what it was. You had to come <laughs> in with the actual info and... Now we all sit around going, oh, That's not true, though, because Christ. what happens is they, they actually can't do that now legally, they said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm back to you. Gamefly.com ah. slash XM, and then you plug the uh, XM into the promo code box, and uh, you get a special offer. Shh, it's secret. Gamefly.com. All right, on the way, we got Kelly Hansen, new singer of Foreigner. We have Jeff Norris coming by to say hi. Uh, oh, big white gorilla. We got some baseball talk on the way. We have an update on the subway masturbator. Oh, the guy that was on the front page of the papers. Yes, we have an mm-hmm. update on that. And uh, we also have flubs from Bombs and Flubs, Anthony. Yeah. And we're going to attempt the sex offender game. Ooh. Get that one on the game fly. Sex <laughs> offender game? No. <laughs> Kind of fun to. Th- it is fun. We've been playing this in the office. This website is very interesting. I noticed Danny's very good at it. Danny's very good at the sex offender game. I only have one sex offender close to where I live. Really? I f- I feel like I'm uh, lucky. Only one, four blocks away. Oh real? Oh, I thought it was your exact address. <laughs> huh? I thought it was your exact address. No, nothing. Do you want to? <laughs> the only thing worse it, Phil. than when a joke bombs and you think, that jam, they just didn't hear it. Right. <laughs> Let me blurt it out again and again. I got, a, I got kind of a creepy guy that lives right next to me, and in my head, you know, because of his website, I'm like, I would bet anything he's got something. Yeah. But it turns out the closest sex offender to me is four blocks away. But some of these guys around here were putting in their addresses, and you should <coughs> see how many freaking uh, yeah. red dots pop up. You pop in your address... And uh, it gives you a little map quest type map of your neighborhood with little red pins. And that's just people who who get caught. Yeah, right. Forget about like all oh, that like had the, to uh, register as a sex offender in your neighborhood. And someone, they're all over the place. I don't know who it was. Someone threw their address up, and it looked like uh, the screen looked like it had measles. There were so <laughs> it was many, just a bunch of dots. <laughs> so many red dots. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, I looked at my neighborhood, uh, Great Neck. Got a few of them around there. And and the game is uh, you know popping on there. You look at the guy's picture and see his name. And then you try to figure out what sex offense he's uh, he was jailed for. Want to play, Bill? Oh, shit, yeah. Of course. All right, we'll do that next. All right, you're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. Mmm, blueberries. I'm getting yeah. one, too. What are you getting? I have one of the common people going to fetch me some blueberries. You're just getting raw blueberries Absolutely. like that? Absolutely. It's a superfood. Superfood, bro. A lot of antioxidants, son. Salmon. Um, salmon? Salmon. Jesus. I said that on purpose. Oh. I really did that time. Okay. I know it's salmon. Avocado is very good for you, right? What Tur- about... What, what nut is good? Avocado. What's that? What nut? Um... I don't know. No, it's one nut. I believe you. I don't I don't know it. Um... No. Pecans? Pecan, is it pecans? Pecans. Pecans. Or is it, or is it cashew? Pecan. The cashew. And, uh... And, and spinach is good. All the shit food, right? Avocado All the stuff that isn't sweet and creamy. And tomato sauce. And delicious. You know what I like? You know what is the best tasting thing on the face of the earth? Yankee Doodles. Drake's Ew. Yankee Doodles. They still like devil dogs, but not as dry. Oh, they're great. When they're fresh. Ooh. Oh, they're fantastic. And they are no superfood. <laughs> this one has a problem. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, maybe I should have washed these. Of you didn't you wash should. them? <laughs> no. Do you know what happens in the fields when they pick those? Do you know what happens? I'm trying to build up my immune system. Mexicans are picking those. Uh-oh. They're huge fields. <laughs> oh, you want your immune system? Bu- how, would you like a mouthful of orange piss? That's got to help. And no. they don't walk to the toilet nothing across a on big that one? field. They they shit <laughs> nothing. <laughs> that, yeah, nothing. That line made Jimmy sit down. I, I was just horrified. I didn't want to laugh at that. No, no, I I think my foot's really sore. Oh, oh too bad. Your little booty. What's the boot supposed to do for your foot? Make it not sore. No, I'm supposed to straighten that's what I'm redoing. Straighten it out? Yeah. Hey, we we got a guy in Mexico calling in. Were you done? Yeah, goddamn Mexicans there. What they do is they shit in the field right on your blueberries and strawberries and every that's other berry. Because the man won't give them a break. Right. You know, there should be close to toilets in there, but they can't drop these portable toilets in the middle of your uh, your harvest. It's the portable toilet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Art? We gotta get an update on the auction. Is it up and running this auction? <laughs> 
Yes, what are our goods being sold for? I know, this, the Mexican this one? shithead has been working on this auction for a month now, and oh. we have three items for bid. Nothing. I want him fired. A month? We didn't even know about the disaster. Bah, we Monday. said something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of did, actually. We were setting this up for something. Sure. You're right about that, Jimmy. Ralph in Mexico, what's up? Ralph. Ralph! Hello. Yes. Hello, Mexico. What, what, what's up, man? What you doing? This is such a fake Mexican. Dude, what kind of Mexican worse. is named Ralph? What's up? What you doing? Yes, continue. Just go ahead with the bit, and we'll uh, we'll cut it off at our leisure. We got. <laughs> and I guess he'll cut it off. Oh, Ralph. He really thought leisure. he was gonna get us with. How? What you guys doing? With his Scarface fucking accent for a Mexican. <laughs> Danielle, Long Island. <laughs> Asshole. Hi, precious. Hi. Yeah. How are you? We're all good. Okay. I just moved into Mastic Beach about oh. a year and a half ago. Dude. No, yeah, no. You're in Mastic? Mastic Beach. Yuck. It's a, it's a little different than Mastic. Mastic Beach is a little bit nicer. No, it's than, not. No, no, no. Mastic stinks. There's a lot, there's a lot of Section 8 housing there. Right? Yeah, you know what Mastic Beach is full? It's full of black people. That call themselves Indians and people that didn't exactly. do well on their SATs. Yeah. Right. They're You're black. Right. They're black people, but they say right. they're an Indian tribe, so they get the tax things and their yes. the cigarettes and uh, all the. Right around the block. Yeah. Me, and it's all run by black people. Yeah, it's, it's all black, bit. and they're like, "No, man, I'm I'm motherfucking Indian, motherfucker." You You're like, sure? "No, I you're a black guy, right?" I know about Long Island. Yeah. Long Island. You Full of Beach. Yes. And the Section 8 housing, obviously, there we have a lot of, um, at least three times a week, you get one of those notices in the mail about your um, all the sex offenders moving into the neighborhood. You a new a sex offender coming out? You get at least three times a week we get a notice. You have a, you have a new sex offender moving into the neighborhood. The levels of offense, their name, their birthday, and depending on the offense, you get their address. So wow. I can't even imagine what the map looks like around my house. They must be literally worse than measles at month. Well, I mean, have to look. Yeah, you should check it out. Mastic Beach, what do you do that you have to live there? What do I do? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I'm only um, 28, and it's the only way to live out on Long Island by yourself. Were you a stripper? <laughs> no, I'm a veterinary technician, actually. Oh. All right. yeah. I, if I was a stripper, I could live in freaking Great Neck with you. What do you think? Yeah, it's true. I'd be making a lot more money than what I'm making now. But to live on Long Island, you have to. You can't afford anything now. Yeah, but so. Mastic. Oof. Mas yeah, I paid one sixty for my house. That's the only place that's affordable left. On a yeah, hundred about a, uh, a hotbed of sex offenders will really keep the prices down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> on, on the house. I think the real estate bubble has popped in Mastic <laughs> Beach. <laughs> What's funny, though, is that my house probably doubled in the past two years. You heard real they estate. call it Mistake Beach, right? Yeah, well. Yeah. I don't like to it's got to be worth like at least $40,000 now. But. All right. Yeah. Th thank you, Danielle. We get All right. it. You get mail. Thank you. All right. All right. Hey, uh, Eric, back in studio. He's working on the Opie and Anthony auction for the uh, hurricane relief fund that we have uh, started. Oh. Where are we at? Uh, we're doing pretty good. Steve will have the link up very soon. The link? Didn't we say up that on Opie and Anthony? Did you say that an hour ago? Yeah, but it, it's taking a while. Can we look and see if any of these items are being bid on? Yeah. Are they? No, not yet, no. <laughs> Can we see before 11? Yes. Well, the link, what, what's you have to do for the link? Because all yeah. you have to do is put like a thing with pictures. Yeah, like an icon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he'll have it. You like paste an icon in there. Can't you go to like eBay right now? If you want to. And and look. Yeah. Have we said that it's on eBay? No. Not no. at all. Not at all. Oh, we didn't. No, because no. there's it's uh, eBay and a uh, nonprofit organization called Mission Fish that so, is handling all so this. So if us. you go to eBay, how do you find our auction? You can search for Opie and Anthony auction. Uh huh. Until what about the other there? items up there that our fans just sell on a daily basis? Don't buy those. Those won't get you. Uh, yeah, but how do you money know the money won't difference? go to the charity? How do you know the difference between the two? You just need some official thing, yeah, right? This auction. This has an official uh, Opie so and Anthony thing. Go on. Opie and Anthony auction mm -hmm. on eBay. So what items do you have? All right. Thank you, uh, Eric. Thank you. That's great. Good stuff. Thanks. You guys want to play the sex offender game? Sh I was hoping we'd get a riveting whole break out of that. What happened? Travis, uh, me and Danny were just looking for them on eBay, and it's going to be kind of hard for people to find them. Oh, no, that's always good. <laughs> 
because uh, Eric didn't put a space between Opie and Anthony. So if you put in Opie dash Anthony, n- none of the auction items will show up. But if you type in Opie Anthony as one word, then they'll show up. What if you put in like a normal human being would type Opie and Anthony? No, nah, not going to show up. It won't come up if nah. you type. Where's you, Eric? You can do a search Where right is now he? on eBay. Where is he? Steve, you got anything on this? Hold on. Why wait. would you not... Get baby hat in here. You're typing in something to search. Wouldn't you type it in as OP space and space Anthony? I don't know what they're what they're searching on, but as far as, far as the actual name itself, yeah, it's one word. OP OP and Anthony auction is the member name. Sorry. So I guess we'll help people along when, when, when we get the link on OPAnthony.com. Right? Okay, I'm here now. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't worry. There's going to be links to everything. Eric's just adding these things in. And the way you can tell is we've set it up so that there's uh, uh, there's going to be a little yellow ribbon next to the icon that uh, designates that everything's being donated to, ch- to charity. So you'll be able to tell. A which, yellow ribbon. Yes. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dick. Uh, Nice close-up shot of Steve's junk. Yeah. Jimmy just took a photo of it. No, no. no, no, no. (laughs) So weird. We were doing that bit before Jimmy came in and joined our show. Exactly. So I guess Jimmy's right. He didn't bring the gay into the show. (laughs) Taking pictures of other guys' cocks. Only only I remember a whole montage we had back in the old days and at AF. Made a collage and put it on the wall. God, I was mistaken. All right. Let's play the sex offender game. I don't know how we're going to play this, actually, but we're going to try. Oh my God! Oh, this is the number. Okay, I see. Oh, I, what? Oh, I see what's going on. Do here. I get one? It, yeah, you get one. Well, Travis. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you nailed him. I'm the only one with the answers. Oh, really? I'm the only it's one with the fair. answers. One of the uh, one of the guys should have the answers. No, I'm gonna be like uh, the the guy. I'm gonna well, set it you up. You should guess too. Yeah, why don't you guess? I'm gonna set it up. I don't know this shit. All right. All right. Anthony, you could explain the sex offender game. And then, yes. And then I'll uh, do the setup here. Travis found a website. Wasn't it Travis? Travis found a website. He was taking quite a risk going online to get a virus. <laughs> and uh, found a website where you put in your zip code or your address or whatever, and it pops up a map with a bunch of little virtual pins on it that locate sex offenders in your neighborhood. In a really bizarre way, it's it's a fun thing to do. Isn't it? It's kind of fun. You kind of click and find out what kind of creeps are living around you. And uh, along with the information about where they live is what they did and who, what type of uh, person they did it with, age, sex, and what they did to that person. A sex offender can be uh, anything from flashing somebody all the way to molesting. Right. Child molestation. It runs the gamut. Everything. Okay. If you were that guy that they took a picture of uh, uh, in the subway showing your cock to the girls, yeah, you'll eventually end up on the sex offender list. All depends on how you do it. Mm-hmm. So uh, we got some of these guys in front of us. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to give out their real personal info, right? Just well, the first name. Uh, I'm not even going to do that. Why? Why? Hugh? You have the first name? Nah. We got the description. That's good enough. This guy is Hugh. I'm saying his first name. Yeah, I think that contributes. You. you sure? We'll be all right with that? could probably give out his full name, but uh, I wouldn't do that. How about the top four sexual predator first names? <laughs> Hugh. See if there's a link or anything. All right, here we go. Um, the first guy in uh, the sex offender game. I can't believe I didn't get a car crash on that. He is Hugh. <laughs> his name is Hugh. <laughs> he is <laughs> white. <laughs> Six feet tall, 270 pounds. Black hair, brown eyes. He was born in uh, 1950. Right. How old does that make him? 55. 55, 55 years old, and um, he's on the list. Where, do, where, where is he from? What town? Oh, he's from Brooklyn. Hugh from Brooklyn, white, six foot two seventy pounds. Uh, this guy, I would say, 15 year old girl. Sodomy. <laughs> could it be wishful thinking? Yes, it could. I say big fat guy like that. I say he um, he uh, manhandled a youngster. <laughs> Sex? Boy, boy or girl? Sex and age of the victim. 
I say. I guess that's what we're going for, and the actual crime. I say the victim was approximately uh, eight years old, Mm -hmm. and I say that it was a um, uh, he he touched a minor. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, boy or girl? Oh, uh, little girl. Eight-year-old girl, you're saying? Yeah, he he did something to her that you probably shouldn't. Are we doing prices right rules? If you go over, you're out. Damn well, the closest. I say fifteen. Then. I say close. I say close. It's uh, not prices right. Yeah. It's hard to say because it's so Jeez. tempting either way. You definitely got to get the whether it was a male or or female. Yeah. And if you do get like it, let's say it was a male, then closest to the age that person will will get the right the credit okay. on uh, the right guess. Okay. Uh, Billy. Uh, I'm going with. Uh, I'll also say a minor. I'll say four-year-old boy. <laughs> and I'm also going to say he was related. Oh. Maybe like an uncle. Okay. Wow. Put some uh, jam on his cock. <laughs> Made it a little game or something. <laughs> All right. It's Hugh. Called, it's called kiss the jam or get hit. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh from Brooklyn. Yeah. The six-foot, 270-pound white guy. The victim was a male. Ah, I'm out. And so. All right. He looks so like Gacy. So I you guys that. said he really boys. Does. Wait, you said boy, right? Yeah, no, I said girl. Oh, you did? I yes. thought Jimmy said boy. No. no. I said girl. Oh, Billy gets right, well, it by default. All right, well, what's the, the I'm going to tell you, male, 15 years old. Oh. Then again, Anthony had the age. Yeah. Yeah, but it's got to be the... Uh, we yeah, said you think the sex? Se- it's sex is uh, more important than the age. It's like it's like a straight... What, is, what pizza flush? I think the age is more important than the sex. Full no, house? They're all sex offenders. You're gonna, it's you're harder to get the age than the sex. The sex six, is 50-50. Yeah, a 16-year-old boy... Is a lot. Is a lot. Nothing compared to a nine-year-old girl. I mean, the age is more important yeah. than the sex. Yeah, S- sex is fifty-fifty shot. Age is pretty difficult to hit on the head. Sure, I nailed it. But I like when we think these games out before we go on the air with them. <laughs> we think out what the criteria well, for victory is. Yeah, you should have a point system. Here. We should actually have. Yeah, oh, a point system. All right, point that's system. That's it. If you get right. the age. That's got to be worth more than the sex, like you said. Okay. No, you got to hit the age right on the head. I think. And then anything else is zero. Or we're going to be adding up points here, and it's going to get re- very confusing. I got the species. That should be worth seven. <laughs> I think age should be, if you hit it on the head, should be five points. Really? Yeah. Oh, because you hit the age on the yes. first one? Yes. No, because sex should be Two, three, three one for the point. race and one for the sex. How's that? How about sex is one I point? I might not tell you the race. Sex is one point. All right. Age? Age, 50. three points. You want three? Yeah. Okay. All right, three points for age. And then, One point for sex. Right. I was hoping you get a bonus and a little bell would go off. Yeah. It's got to be more points Thing for being. the action, too. And then, did, did they say what type of sex crime it was? Oh, yeah. Ooh. I said sodomy. Yeah, but how much if you get the crime right? If you get the crime correct, that's got to be... More. Kevin's got his five hand points. Two, but yeah, it's got to be more. Five, yeah. That's, five? A, that's a guess. Five. All right. Wow, this is very uh, complicated now. Okay. Yep. See, we've all, all of a sudden made it complicated. All right. All right. What was the sex? All right. The sex was, uh, well, so it was, a, it was a male, 15 years old. Mm-hmm. So Anthony, Anthony and Billy split points, and, and it gets five. Billy gets two. No, I get three. All right. Billy it, gets one. Billy gets one for guessing <laughs> the <bullshit>. sex. <laughs> this is sucks. And Anthony I get underwear gets, full of clear stuff. <laughs> Anthony gets three points for <laughs> guessing the age. Yes. 15-year-old victim. And the crime was sodomy in the third degree. I got sodomy. <laughs> you got sodomy! <laughs> you like a bingo. I got yes. sodomy! <laughs> Very good. Anthony, way out in front. Wow. Sodomy! <laughs> here's, the, here's the beautiful thing. You guys both did well, and I'm actually disappointed that he didn't rape an eight year old for the points. <laughs> <laughs> so sick. All right, so that's something you. seriously wrong with this. All right, right now Anthony's in the lead. He has eight points. Jimmy has zero. Billy, oh, that's uh, Bill Burr has one. We need some of that music. Like, dun, 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 dun. So when I read the contestant here, uh, you got like game show music. Right. Yeah. Well, maybe if we actually did stuff after the show was over, yeah. we'd have this all set up nice. I do. Run. <laughs> Who's Run idea for my this? life. It's a good idea. Who came up with this game? I know it is. I don't know. Danny? Danny? Oh. Danny yeah. did. He admitted, though, we're, you know, we're just going to try and see what happens. Uh, our next contestant here is Alex. He is a uh, black, oh, a black male, <laughs> uh, also Hispanic. He is 5'11", 205 pounds. Keeps himself in good shape. 58 yeah. years old. 58 years young. 
He also resides in Brooklyn. And he has a white beard. Yes, it's a gray beard uh, on his black face. All right. I will say that our friend uh, Alex... Anthony, our returning champion. Yes. <laughs> I will say a 13-year-old girl uh, intercourse. Intercourse, 13-year-old girl. All right. I'm going to say, what is rape and sodomy? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I say he uh, did it to a 34-year-old woman. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, Bill? Uh, I'm going to say he exposed himself in the park repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> um, to any, I don't know. Pro- I don't know, he's in Brooklyn. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, with, I'm actually white girls. I'm going to go with white girls in the park. <laughs> Well, exposing right. himself. Well, Any, what's the age? Oh, I would say like uh, uh, NYU kind of students, 18 to 22. 18. <laughs> Stayed cool. away from the graduate students. All right. Cool. You guys ready? That's white NYU students. If they're Hispanic, they're 40 to 45. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this fine gentleman did. All right. He had three victims. Three victims? Now, how does this work? I have no idea. We're going to have to get points for all of them? We, we didn't know that, though. That was We, we thought it was all like a one-victim thing. We didn't yeah. know. So maybe I should uh, do that? We're, all right, for the next one, I'll do oh, that. Oh, for the next one. All right. All right. We're, we're trying to figure this out as we go. Three victims, all male. Oh, uh, I'm out. Uh, boom, 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 boom. We're all out. <laughs> I might be able to pick up some points on the age. So no one got the, the sex right? No one got the sex right. We all thought it was a chick. All right. The ages 13, 17, and 23. Jesus Christ. Out. I said 13. All I right. hit it right on the goddamn head. Billy's giving himself a fucking spread. Oh, college age girls. Great. <laughs> well, you know what? He loses, though. He said 18 to 22. There was a 13, a 17, and a 23. Oh, man. <laughs> I, should screw almost up. Be, I should almost get, like, <laughs> minus one. You screwed up. I get three points for the 13-year-old. All right. Three for Anthony. What did Jimmy say? I said that he raped, raped and sodomized a 34-year-old woman, because we're wow. all assuming kids. The crime yeah. was sodomy. Sodomy. I said intercourse. How old were the kids? How, I'm sorry, how old were the people? 13, 17, 23. When in doubt. Go with sodomy. Sodomy. So um, Jimmy got sodomy, right? So that's you five. said sodomy. I said rape and sodomy. All right, good enough. That's five good. points for Jimmy. Ooh, five points for five Jimmy. points Wait, on each one. That's that fifteen rough. points. No. Well, no. 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 I don't like the idea that there's three. I say we should stick with the first one on the list. No, all no. Of them. I'll tell you what. The you never know who's more deserving. For now on, I'll tell you how many victims there were, and it, it could be a guess accordingly. A, a potpourri of points. What? All right. <laughs> All right, our next victim, Anthony. Uh, that would be or Maurice. Our, our next offender, I should say, yes. Maurice. Ethnicity, not Hispanic. Yes, he's black. He's black. He wrote and sang Purple Rain. <laughs> A non-Hispanic black. He's 5 foot 8 inches tall, 152 pounds. I got this one. And he also is from, I guess they just got guys from Brooklyn. Uh, this guy, again, from Brooklyn. Uh, wow, looking at Maurice, I will have to say a man. Well, he's 41 years old, too. Did we say that? Male, then. Male. All right. Uh, I will say 15-year-old male in the study with a wrench. <laughs> No? (laughs) I get my games all confused all the time. (sighs) Jimmy? 15-year-old male um, sodomy. Rape the 12-year-old. Rape 12-year-old girl. Girl. Girl, all right. Yeah. Billy? Bill? Uh, You know what? I don't think this guy has the height or the weight to take down an adult. Oh. Uh-huh. So I'm going to go. I was going to say 13. I'm not trying to do that Price is Right thing where I bet a dollar over a year. Uh, <laughs> I hate those scumbags. Sure. Yeah, to get the refrigerator. <laughs> Did he rape a 12-year-old? <laughs> I'm going with 13-year-old girl. I'm going to go with the popular sodomy. Uh-huh. Okay. And uh, I'm going to say uh, back porch. Mm. All right. Back porch. 
Oh, wait a minute. How many victims? Hey, how many? I'm sorry. It was one. One. Good. Oh, okay. It's multiple, I'll tell you, I guess. Okay. Probably tell us before we guess I know. Then. You're right. <laughs> but, okay. All right. It was a male. God damn it. They're all fags. I'm in. I'm in. God damn it, Dave. We're jerking off to the site. That's three points to me. Three points to Anthony. Bill, you said male, right? I said... No, I said... Right. Oh, you said female, yeah. too. Yeah. Girl, 13. It was male, 12 years old. Oh, Jimmy said 12. God damn Jimmy it. got three. That's a big point item. Jimmy got three. <laughs> Jimmy's, <laughs> Jimmy's got two correct answers, and he's got more points. No, he doesn't. Oh, I got a fiver I, in I there. guess the offense. And the age. It was uh, sexual abuse, first degree. What's that? Don't know. But what he did was he probably jerked off... And rub the lad's abs. Yeah, it could have been a little thing. All right, no one gets points oh, for the offense. tugged his mule. He got three to six for it. No one gets uh, points for the offense, though. All right. Oh, right. look at this creep. Hold on. Yeah, the next one's a real creep. Anthony's in the lead with uh, 14 points. Nice. Jimmy has eight. And Bill Burr, who's playing Caroline's all this weekend, yes. has one point. <laughs> That's right. Bring your youngster down, and Bill will act out these things on it. <laughs> on it. That's only in a late show, Saturday. <laughs> All right, we have a 55-year-old gentleman from ah, Brooklyn. Yes, we're introducing Annabelle. What? A-N-I-B-A-L? Annabelle? Mm -hmm. It's Annabelle. Uh, he was born <laughs> in 1950. He's, of course, a male. 5'8", 140 pounds. He is a white, Hispanic male. And uh, he, too, from Brooklyn... Uh, judging by the look of this creep, it has to be a young boy. By the way, there's one victim. <laughs> one victim. I would say that one victim is a 13-year-old boy. The crime, again, the favorite, sodomy. Okay. I say he raped and sodomized a 23-year-old uh, woman. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Bill? Uh, Bill? You know what? This is one of these guys. He he took down a 65-year-old old woman. <laughs> <laughs> one of those oldie, yeah, oldie rapers. Just started off as like a home invasion to get mm. a TV, and that was it. <laughs> yeah, just grabbed a hair dryer. And what was the uh, what <laughs> two was, to the head? What was the crime? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, he did it all. You guys, sodomy, everything. Next uh, thing you sodomy. know, her teeth are punched out. There's a white nursing shoe askew. <laughs> <laughs> It's medicine all over the floor. <laughs> Everyone nitroglycerin in his fucking underwear. My <laughs> pills. Everyone uh, guess the offense? Yep. Okay. It was a female. Damn it. Jimmy? I yeah. got I had female. I said old Both woman. of you guys had female, right? I said 23 years old. All it's right. So point. Jimmy gets three and Bill Burr gets three. No, that's one point for, for sex. sex. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Holy yeah. shit. All right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jesus. Calm down. Oh, yeah, okay. It was the age thing. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Anthony. It's very important. It's a game. All right, it was a female, 15 years old. Hot. Right. No one got that, right? No. Yeah, I underestimated him. He got six to nine years for attempted <laughs> rape, first degree. No sodomy. We all know, don't get points for that. Darn. All right. I got raped, though. That wasn't. Uh, you got rape, raped? Right? I say rape and sodomy. <coughs> it was attempted. <clears throat> oh, attempted? Oh, my yeah, God. Do it. This is. The next guy looks like uh, Weird Al. <laughs> I was going to go with uh, the werewolf in London guy. Younger with longer hair. Good thing you didn't. It would have bombed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our next victim is Luis. Luis. He is 34 years old. A little younger than the rest of them. 34-year-old male. He's uh, His race is other. Uh, ethnicity Hispanic, five foot nine, two hundred and ten pounds, residing in Brooklyn, New York. He has one victim. One victim. Hmm. Look at him here. I'm gonna say a seventeen-year-old female way, rape. You're way off. Yeah. Way off. I know what he did. <laughs> He spit into his hand and gave a manual release to a six-year-old boy. Jesus, Jimmy. That's what he did. He didn't blow him, because that would be queer. He <laughs> spit in his hand, and and the mother knew something was wrong, because she kept hearing, ha, 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 the giggles of the lad. The confused <laughs> giggles. Yeah, the giggles slash fight tears. They asked the boy what happened. He said, I don't know. I just went to sleep and ate cotton candy. <laughs> All right, this guy looks like he got picked on in high school, uh -huh. never got laid. I'm saying he was making up 
for lost time, revisited his high school years, and raped a 15-year-old. Ooh. Female. Female. All right. And, uh, okay, that's rape. Very good. His sentence was one day to four years. Uh-uh. All right, wait a minute. See, how about this? Oh, give us the sentence. Sentences first. All right, we'll do it for the next one. We'll go. All right, right. we'll uh, figure it out as we go along. Here a bit. One day to four years. All right. Uh, the victim was a female. Shit. All right, I got a point. I got that. I got that. I get a point. And and Bill gets a point, right? But the spit in the hand angle was very accurate. No. <laughs> Eleven years old. Ah, damn it. Sexual abuse, first degree. A little, little diddle. A little flash. A little diddling, maybe. <sighs> yeah, maybe he just cupped her bosoms. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? In One the day. store, maybe. Maybe you're in the store and you peeked in the changing room. You couldn't Something do that much like if you that. got a day. Yeah, a day. He fucked a kid. Well, that may be two days. <laughs> Jesus. All right, we'll give the sentence for the next victim. Yeah. Or the next uh, offender, I should say. Gerald? Gerald. Good old Gerald. Gerald was born in 1944. He is a black, non-Hispanic male. Five foot six, 160 pounds. And he wears corrective lenses. <laughs> and he is from a New York City. And I guess he would be 61 years old. 61. Oof. His crime was back in 1996, by the way, if that'll help. How too. much time did he get, Pumpkin? Uh, well, woo, wow. Uh, two victims, uh, 48 months to eight years. 48 months to eight years. That would be four to eight. Hmm. Right. Wait, let's uh, start with Bill. Bill Ooh. Burr. Uh, I'm right. going blank on this guy. I, I already uh, know it. Wait wow. a minute. You know what? I'm gonna. Can I pass? Oh. I'll go first. I don't care. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's better? That club's not exploded again. That's great. The only thing that would make me happier is if you're opening a cock and that happened. <laughs> <laughs> again. Spilled all over your wrist. <laughs> um. <laughs> 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 Bill, you're going to pass? Oh, I thought it could come back around back to him. me. I, I, yeah. All right. Jimmy? I say um, he uh, has had a sexual battery on two girls aged 10 and 12. Wow. Okay. Wow. What are the odds he gets that right? Uh, probably 50-50. Anthony? Okay. I will say uh, wow. two boys. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'll say boys on this guy. Boys. Ooh. I'm not with that. 13 and 14. Uh, just basic uh, molestation. He programmed for XM and showed them videos. He touched them inappropriately. All right. Some I'm, type I'm gonna, of molestation. I'm going to say uh, this, he's, he's a dirty old man. I'm going to say he's a uh, 13-year-old girl. Uh, There's two victims. I was getting to the other one. All right. Uh, she's 14. <laughs> I don't know. He molested a... Uh, oh, you know what? A boy and a girl. Wow. A little brother and sister were sitting in the back of a station wagon, left <laughs> unattended. He was coming out of Circuit City. <laughs> and uh, spur of the moment, so he didn't get the premeditated, which is why he got 48 months to eight years. All right. A lot of people uh, writing in on the instant feedback saying, I'm never going to Brooklyn again. What are you saying that he just... Uh he was a spur of the moment. Like he was just walking by a car, and he saw that they were in the back seat, and he had to just put his mule through the window. Maybe they just tickled it a little bit, and he left when the police yeah, arrived. Yeah, it was like a mm. popsicle. The victims were twins. Wow. Ten years old. I s- Wait a minute. Boys. Boy and a girl. Ah, boys. okay. Shit. So let's I get start the, with boys. I get a point each, then. That's right. I said two boys. So Jimmy said two boys? No, girls. You said girls. All right. right. I said a but, boy and a girl. Right. But I said their ages were 10 and 12, so I get half the points. Yeah, you get a point for one kid being 10. <sighs> yeah, who guessed twins? No, this get, guy goes to the gusto. You get all three for that. What? He gets all three for guessing the age <clears throat> of one of them. Of one of them, right. So he gets three points, Jimmy. Three points. Anyone else get the age? No. Right. No, I only got one. 13 yeah. and 14. Yeah, it was so sodomy, funny. first degree, oh. sexual abuse, first degree. Uh, Anything on that? I said mol- molestation. Not sexual abuse, no. Damn it. Good lord. All right. This stink. This is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Want right. to do just one more? One, one more. The one next, more? Vi- the next uh, guy is uh, Ooh, Keith Jesus. Robinson. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Let's look through them first. Let me see. I know. I don't know. I might want to go with Warren. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh yeah. Let's get the. Holy <laughs> shit. I think we want to go with Warren. What did Warren do? All right, we will go with oh, Warren. Or maybe the last guy, Owen, with the Elo haircut. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. I like Warren. He's got that you finally uh, caught me look on yeah. his face. <laughs> Warren is really bad. Warren is 70 years old. Can we please do Elo hair, too? Yeah? Yeah. We let, have to. Uh, all right. Let's do, all right, let's he do Warren. He did a location check on his cock, and it was in a nine-year-old's hand. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, let's start with Warren. He's 5'5", five, five, 70 years old. Yes. He's from Long Island. He's white. Not Central his, Islip. Wow, I used to live there. Central Islip, uh, white, Remember one. not Hispanic, 5'5", five, five, 116 pounds, gray hair, blue eyes. Corrective lenses. Yes. Of course. He is an old codger. <laughs> he is really old. Uh, one victim. One victim. When the Silver Star in World War II. Oof. I, I have to, uh, I have to say, what, what's the sentence? Uh, one year. One Lo- year. In local jail. All right. Okay. I know what it is then. It's a girl. Um, let's say, I want to say 11. 11 year old girl, and he did something inappropriate. No real touching, but he maybe exposed himself. What is that called? Hot. <laughs> <laughs> is there some type of crime there? It's not mol- molesting. It's exposure. It's a I guess, yeah sexual battery of some sort. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Sexual horror. Being that he's five five and one sixteen, I'm going to say, and he's seventy. I'm going to say. Hold he, on. The oh. all right. The conviction was in two thousand. I'm going to say he brutally raped a thirty five year old black male. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you're really going out on a limb. <laughs> uh, no, I'll say he, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say he, I, I kind of got to go with Ant here. I'm going to say he exposed himself to an 11-year-old girl. Okay. Is that the same Ooh. stuff Anthony said? Jesus. <laughs> trying to steal my thunder. Just trying to stay out in front. Thunder. Thunder. All right, I'm going to say this guy grew up a confused gay man, came of age in the 50s. Mm. It's unacceptable. Mm-hmm. None of these talk shows to make him feel okay. He finally <laughs> gave into it in 2000. <laughs> really? Yeah, he fought it for years, and he just said, "What am I gonna go my whole life without pulling out in front of an eight-year-old boy?" He turns- I'm fucking doing it. That's what he did. I got this guy, eight-year-old right. boy. He pulled it out. He turned 65 his, and said, "Ah, what the hell?" Yeah, gray pubes pushing out of the dickies pants. <laughs> All right. The victim... Oh, we're ready, right? Yeah. The victim was a female. All right. Wow. I get a point. Me too. Nice. Yeah. Point. Jimmy gets a point. Bill, no point. No oh. point, Bill. I guess I'm just not good at 15 this. 15 years old. Oh. Down. No, I should have Nobody, gone. right? And it was rape second degree. Wow. How do you get a year for that? Oh, you know what? Maybe that's statutory or something. Mm, I don't right. know. Right. I don't know. Right. Maybe it was a prostitute or something. How do you let a 115-pound... Seventy-year-old. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe it was a technicality. Maybe he fucked underage. They call it rape. Could have been retarded. Good point. The final <laughs> one. Yeah, we'll mention the site in a second here, guys. Don't Elo. worry about it. Everyone, Where's the Elo guy? Everyone oh, this watch guy's the like, site name. His name is Owen. Oh, that haircut is awful. Oh, there he is. All I right. know what he did though. This is it, right? What a yes. creep. Yeah. All right. He, he raped his barber. <laughs> Owen is. <laughs> Owen is 30 years old. Uh, Jim, you're really the Paul Lind on this whole good <laughs> special. Oh. You always got a crazy line. In the name. But seriously, he raped an 8-year-old. I'm going to have to say I agree. <laughs> the center square. He raped his barber. Oh, why don't you go down on your elevator shoes? <laughs> Uh, I, re- I remember that line. All right. Oh, and 30 years old from Uniondale. You have a scarf tied around your neck. <laughs> Bad blazer. <laughs> this guy's got a Charles <laughs> Nelson Riley. Oh, this guy has a Caesar's haircut. Oh, he's yeah, he black. Does. He's five six, light skin black. Oh. Possibly with a little Latino in him. As yeah. I look at the picture. 5'6", 174 pounds, black eyes, uh, black eyes, black hair, and brown eyes. Good hair, bad haircut. 
Wow. Uh, one victim. How much time did he do? Probation sentence, 10 years. Probation? Oh, 10 years probation. That's right. So he didn't see any uh, time. Mm. 10 years probation. Then I've got to go up. What I've learned from this is if they don't serve any time, the age has got to be 15 or higher, um, but lower than consenting age. Uh, I'll say 15-year-old girl. Um, rape. I got it's probably statutory, but it's going to be classified as rape of a 15-year-old girl. I'm going to say the inappropriate touching oh. of a one-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You are so fucked up, man. Inappropriate touching of a one-year-old. Oh. He pulled off her diapers when they didn't need it. Ramon. Uh. Ramon, bring me repressed memories. <laughs> What's... Uh, I think... I think well, did you... Girl. Uh, girl, okay. A goyle. I say a, a 16-year-old girl he had inappropriate contact with. Or expose himself. Okay. How expose old? Him. Sixteen. Sixteen. Expose himself. Expose. Okay. Show that unclipped cock. All right. Um, I think this guy uh, used the teaching of a musical instrument to lure a like a teaching of like the maracas <laughs> <laughs> to gain the trust. Yeah, of the mother, oh. and she dropped off her eight-year-old son. And let's just say when she came back, there was only one maraca. <laughs> <laughs> only one maraca. The boy learned maracas with his face in a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I can't hear the music. <laughs> yeah, what is wrong? Uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> a ba 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 <laughs> Little feet kicking, trying to keep time with the beat. <laughs> Ah, holy crap. <laughs> oh, Jim, we found your niche. <laughs> Ripping on sex offenders. He, I just, he kind of sitting like up on his folded legs on the way home. <laughs> Mama, I don't like the Moroccan. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to learn the drum. <laughs> the Moroccan make me hurt in the seat of my pants. <laughs> All right, listen. The victim. <laughs> the victim was a female. Yeah, I get a point. Yeah. I get a point. Do I have any fucking points? <laughs> Bill, you got four points. God. Which means you're the most normal, by the way. As he cackles over a fucking maraca <laughs> shoved in some eight-year-old's ass. Oh. Jim, you get the oh. sex of this? You I, said female, right? I said a... Uh, you said a female 16, right? Yes. Okay, okay. so you get, a, you get a point, and then Bill? No. What did I, no, uh, I, I, no. I... No. Oh. And uh, Jimmy nailed this one. What? 16 years old. Wow. Nailed the age as well. Damn it. And the crime was third-degree rape. Um, I do believe I said rape. Yeah. So I get the crime. The crime's five points. Write a five down. <laughs> you had a five. Write it down. Did he say it? I did. I said it's yeah. probably statutory. I wish I knew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> all right, that's that. All, all right. right. Tabulate. I think we all need showers after this game, but uh, oh, wonderful. You know what it is, It's the detail. <laughs> Sitting on folded, what did you say, legs? Oh. Bill? Oh, yeah. keep, Propped keep, up on his keep, little knees. <laughs> Bill keep, Burr? Keeping the violated area elevated. <laughs> Oh, that's just so bad. <laughs> Bill Burr playing Caroline's oh. all this weekend. Yes. Got four points in the sex offender game. <laughs> Little red. Congratulations to you, Bill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bill is the true winner. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Wow. You know what? It's really close between uh, Jimmy and Ann. Let me yeah. uh, let me do some adding wow. here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should have said this little mm -hmm. fatty here mm -hmm. smothered an eight-year-old with his ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there are some real creeps on that website. Jimmy uh, got 17 points. 17 for Jimmy. <laughs> and Anthony? Yeah. Anthony won with 22. Oh, I guess. Oh, you have it figured out already? No, I'm just guessing. Come on, tabulate. Congratulations to Professor Anthony. He has won the sex offender game with 24 points. You got it! Yes! Nice. I am the best. Shame, 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 shame on you. 
And we should give out this website because uh, you're going to have fun with this one. You can the... find out if there's uh, sex offenders in your town. You'll have fun with this one uh, with the gang at the office. Play the game at home. Play what? our home game. Yes. What's the uh, website? Oh, thank you. It's uh, mapsexoffenders.com. Mapsexoffenders.com. One word. One word. Yes. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Eric put it on, on fucking eBay. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> I guess they're bidding on our, our, our items already. Are they? Oh. We'll get an update after the break. But it's mapsexoffenders.com. All right? You basically put your address in and all the sex offenders that live near you pop up. Yep. Ooh. All right. <laughs> that was fun. I'm going to see if there's any females on this list arrested for maybe tinkling in the face of an entertainer. You will never find a female no, on this probably list. Probably not. It would be nice, though. And we're back with the Opie and Anthony program. Phil Burr in studio playing Caroline's all this weekend. Very, very funny guy. Very funny guy. Who is the moron that, that put this up? Is it Eric? Is Eric completely responsible for this? There are, I see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items up for bid. And that's it. Uh, three of which are the same item. Four of another three. Two. So there's one, two, three things up for bid here. I checked under Opie and Anthony with no spaces, Opie and Anthony with spaces, Opie Anthony with spaces, Opie Anthony without spaces. Oh, where, shit. Where, how come I'm only seeing this when I search? I don't know. Refresh it. No, refresh Ooh. it. Oh, he oh, told hey. you. Oh, hey, hey. you're going to take that. Asshead, I just refreshed it. <laughs> he did refresh it, Hawk. Where is it? Look at what I searched under. Opie and Anthony. Yeah. What do I search under to get all these that you have on this list? Uh, Opie and Anthony, uh, Opie and Anthony auction. You can look up under. I did watch Opie and Anthony auction. There's not one place. Zero, zero auction. All right, we got about a C in there. Spell auction. It's our Opie and Anthony auction, obviously for charity. 100% of the proceeds will go Where? to the help uh, that they need down there the in George Louisiana Foreman, and really? Mississippi. What? We got to work out the bugs. Obviously, there's gonna be a link on OpieandAnthony.com, yeah, right? It's all set. Boom. What's that? Oh, there it is. There you go. Oh, so... But there's, there's some of the why don't you want to autograph like Fox But gloves. Where, yeah. where's all this? I understand that. Where's that? So, wait a minute. I'm get, let me get this straight. You have to search with three or four different entries to get everything. No. Well, what is this? What did you, what did you put in to get this list? Opie and Anthony auction when I searched under seller. All right, we'll ha we'll figure out the bugs. Uh, I don't go get to the it. website. It's the we first day of our auction. For you. All right, we'll we'll make it easier for I'll everybody. I'll tell you what the bugs are. It's, it's an insect called stupid, and it wears a little hat and a green shirt. We're trying to do something good for once, and uh, I thought that would get a nice I wow. can't wow. find I was all these. To me. I'm sorry. That's right. Uh, all right. Well, some of the items are already being uh, bid on. The Opie and Anthony Dick Cavett. Show Rock Icons DVD autographed by Mr. Cavett is up to $55. Uh, let's see. Opie and Anthony WWE I, I Chris Jericho it. figure autographed $26 so far. And this stuff just went up. Opie and Anthony WWE poker set autographed. Ooh. They might think that's the poker chips. No, no. It, it states that no? you see the photos and everything. It's not the ones that we use. Wow, why $270 so far for that item? That's what, I think it's because it's a unique item. You re really can't find that anywhere unless the company gives it to you. All right, and Open Anthony WWE Raw SmackDown magazine that we signed, I guess? Uh, no, it's signed by some of the, the wrestlers. Oh, okay. That's $26. Open Anthony George Foreman Grill. Was this autographed? Yeah, uh, all three of them are, yeah. All right, so it's an autographed George Foreman grill. That's up to $31 so far. All right, we got to work out the bugs, but it, 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 at least it's up and running, and we'll we'll figure it out, okay? You got, all right. You got 10 days to bid on the items, and then we're going to add more stuff as we go along, and hopefully better stuff, and hopefully, you know, we'll come uh, through with some uh, some real money for the relief effort, okay? Some cake. All right, we got to say hi to Kelly Hansen. The links will be up on opianthony.com and foundrymusic.com. Kelly, what's going on? Hey, what are you doing? How are you, buddy? I'm brushing my teeth. You're, oh. You're brushing your teeth. Why? Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes you know, stuff is on here. Where are you calling from? <laughs> I'm in Atlantic City. Oh, okay. You are the new lead singer of Foreigner. Yes, I am. That's really... Uh... Now, that is probably a hard thing to do. I would think uh, very hard to replace the singer. Singer. Well, you know, I try to I try to look at it this way. Listen, it's, uh, 
I, I do the best I can do. I put my own thing on it, and I'm not trying to be anybody else because that would be that would be way too difficult to do to try to be somebody else. Yeah, you're singing all the old favorites. Absolutely. Yeah, and and you got I mean you got to have a pretty good range for that, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's. Absolutely. It's challenging stuff, yeah. Absolutely. Actually, uh, we got some samples of you singing for Foreigner, and I got samples. Be... You got samples? Yeah, and I got to be honest with you, you sound great. Thank you. But here's the problem, sir. There's a problem open. Well, I, I... Wait a minute, let's let's solve the problem. And, and maybe you could, you know, help help me through this and explain. <laughs> when I when I go some of the uh, go see some of the bands that I grew up with, and they don't have the uh, the original lead singer, I, I kind of have a problem with that. Right. So explain why we should go see the new foreigner with Kelly Hansen. Well, uh, I mean you sound just first, like you sound just like Lou Graham. I'll give it first, to you. First of all, I'm really sorry you got problems. <laughs> well, I, I have more than that. As a, I yeah, have, that's, that's your I have many problem, many problems. You know, but if that's your biggest problem. That's not too bad. But there's you know there's a bunch of bands like you got uh, Journey without Steve Perry. It's it's a little strange to me. That's all. Well, uh, you know what. Stuff happens in life, and uh, and things change. And the the important thing is to if if you if you like foreigner and you like the music, then you have to go to the show, and you have to go with an open mind, and you have to give it a chance. Yeah, exactly, and, Opie. No, I'm not trying to be a jerk. Yes, just, you are. Hold on, Kelly. I'm not You're being I'm, a little closed-minded. Honestly, yeah. God, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but this is you know something that uh, people think about when they see you know foreigner with with Kelly Hansen and not Lou Graham. And I, and I, so and I'm I, giving you a chance to explain. That's all. I'm yeah, not trying to trash you. And I totally, I totally understand. I totally, you know, I'm a, I'm a foreigner fan, too. So <clears throat> I'm probably more of a foreigner fan than you are because I've been a singer for 25 years. So I've listened to this stuff and analyzed it and enjoyed it more than you have, okay? So it's as important to me. Or How do you know? I had a Lou Graham poster on my wall growing up. Oof. No, I didn't. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. Let's Let me... go into that. I, you know, <laughs> was it hanging over your bed? <laughs> right next to my Farrah Fawcett poster. Hey, Kelly. I, I, they were having sex at night, and I watched. Uh, what? Anything? No. Do you way, feel, try to do bail you, yourself out. <laughs> I know. Do you feel like, I mean, I know it's got to be a tough gig, because a friend of mine's a really huge Farner oh, fan, wow. and it's got to be a very tough gig, because you know you're feeling... Uh, like you're a qualified singer, obviously, and a really good singer, and you're filling the shoes of somebody. Does it feel like ever like, all right, well, I have to kind of replace something and mm -hmm. yet not like really try to overdo it without anything different? Oh, very good question. Well, that was a very convoluted question, all right, but I'll try to answer this as best I can. Well, I, when people ask me about this, and there's this, this a commentary here all the time, okay, there's a commentary about filling Lou's shoes, and I... My answer to that is that I'm bringing my own shoes, and uh, I'm not trying to sell anybody else's shoes. Yeah, um, that, that's just not that's just not the right attitude. Mm -hmm. um, but what I do try to do is, and I think that probably uh, hasn't been heard for a while, is yeah. is we're doing the songs like you remember them, like the record. That's what people want to hear. And um, to to me, that's important because I want to do justice to these tunes because these songs are important to me, and I want to do them as people remember hearing them on the record. How many times do you go to a concert and they they don't do the songs like you remember it? I can't and, stand that. And you're like, what are you doing? You know. So my big thing is I I love these tunes the way they are, and I want to sing them the way they are. So uh, that's that's what we're doing, and that to me. Is I think I think that's partially the reason why we we've had such phenomenal response and acceptance and I and I have to really tell you that the fans have been unbelievable to me they've been so gracious to me and accepting of me and uh, and I hopefully it's because I'm doing a good job and and they really like what they're hearing and um, so I'm really thankful for that. Uh huh. Where did Jimmy go? Uh, so you're getting a good reaction out there, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Great. We got a lot of people. Uh, phenomenal. Phenomenal. We got a lot, of, a lot of callers that are very excited. They want to go and uh, see you guys, I guess. Uh, All right. Let's say hi to Steve in Yellowstone. Steve in Yellowstone. Hey, Steve. Steve. Steve, go ahead. Steve, go ahead. <laughs> Steve. 
Hello. <laughs> I'm, uh... <laughs> I, I didn't think I was going to get through. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit nervous. All right, just go ahead, loosen Steve. Your, loosen your pants a little bit. Yeah, calm right. down, Steve, from Yellowstone. Let's I'm go. sorry. I just feel kind of... I'm a little bit embarrassed. I'm actually... My people in my office are kind of laughing at me because I'm calling a radio show to talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah, you're a big uh, Farner fan? Yes, I grew up listening to uh, <laughs> Farner. I... I did grow up listening to a farner, and you like Lou Graham. Have you heard uh, Kelly? Ah, uh, yes. He sounds just like Ramon. <laughs> Ramon. <laughs> Kelly is a girl. <laughs> Steve sounds a little uh, pre preoccupied. Ramon. Lou Graham is a faggot. Uh, All right. So somebody didn't take their medication this morning. Yeah, that's yeah, what it yeah. sounds like. Yeah. Wow. Ramon, <laughs> this guy sucks dicks. All right, Steve. Steve I, I think we've had it with you. Kelly, I'm sorry. Sometimes we get calls that get through and... Uh, they just want to be silly. We'll asses. beat that out. We'll beat that out. Ramon! <laughs> You know, that is your crowd, though. So. Yeah, unfortunately, that is a few of them. A few bad apples, as we like to call them. Uh, wow. Don't follow a whole bunch. Hey, uh, you get the hot ladies there? What are you? What are you from? What are you down here from Florida? Do you get the hot ladies or? Get the hot ladies or what is it? Or, or, or like the ladies now older and stuff. Well, you know, there's, there's. Like what there's, kind of crowd is going to see Foreigner with Kelly Hansen? I got to tell you, it's like everybody. I, I see 18-year-old dudes with studs through their lips. Really? Like, know, who know all the lyrics. Yeah, and, uh, it's one of, some people call them guilty pleasures. Yeah, yeah there, was this, there was this girl there, a 15-year-old girl who knew all the words to all the songs. What's your favorite Foreigner song? Well, I don't really have a, uh, uh, yeah. a favorite. And you know what? It changes night to night because depending on, depending on the show. Yeah, I like the uh, Jukebox Hero. Oh, well, Jukebox Hero is... is Absolutely great. I like the uh, yes. uh, centerfold. No, uh, this uh, <laughs> that other guy. All right, let's say hi to Ben in Boston. That wasn't him. Ben in Boston, huh? you're on with Kelly Hansen, the new lead singer of Foreigner. Hey, dude, dude, dude. What's up, yeah. Ben? Dude, what, what are you guys playing in Boston? Uh, when are we playing? In <laughs> <laughs> Wants to know when you're playing in Boston, Kelly. <laughs> Well, we're not scared. I met Lou Graham one time. Dude, I met Lou Graham one time. He, he was doing coke with Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing what? He was doing blow with Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom Brady from the uh, Patriots, I guess. Yeah, we don't know oh. if uh, Lou Graham did blow with uh, Tom Brady. That's just, just Ben's opinion. Paul seems very ill-informed. Yeah, 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 exactly. Ben from Boston. <laughs> ben, you still there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you have a real question for Kelly? <laughs> Sounds like he's spinning around on a wheel. He probably is. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ben from Boston. Another. Uh... Well, Kelly, how do uh, people find out where you guys going to be performing? Well, they can go to uh, foreigneronline.com, uh -huh. and they can go to the tour dates page. Okay. Uh, or you can call me at my home directly. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm not giving you the number, but if you uh, found it, you could call me there directly. You know, we got some samples of uh, you singing with me. Yeah, I want, I want to hear some of this, because you'll be amazed. that we, we, we listened to it a while ago, and you do a really good job. Well, thanks. Uh, let's, uh, let's pop a little in. Yeah, which one you want us to play? Cold as Ice Feels Like the First Time, Jukebox Hero. A uh, long, long way from home, urgent, waiting for a girl. What, are you um, asking me? Yeah. I don't hear, yeah, feels like the first yourself. time. How about uh, Rosanna? Was that, that <laughs> was, That's another band. That was Toto. <laughs> wow. Kelly, come on. That's pretty good, dude. That's, that's amazing. Uh, thank you. That's, uh, Very nice. No, that's really, you're right on. Because I got to tell you, uh, Queen's trying to do the same thing without Freddie Mercury. And, and who they got? The dude from Bad Company, uh, Paul Rogers. Paul Rogers, and it's just a, it's just a disaster. I got to be honest with you, it's a disaster. It? We had samples of that as well, and uh, we weren't digging that at all. I, 
I haven't heard anything. I mean, I haven't heard it myself. So it I don't sounds know. like it, Bad it, Company it, it, doing it, it, Queen it, it, songs. What? It he sounds like killed. Bad Company doing Queen songs. He must have it's killed them like karaoke. Like to me. Huh? Yeah, yeah right. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna sing a foreigner song. Yeah, do you ever go into a karaoke bar and tell them to put on a foreigner thing and just freak everybody out? That's the only way I get free drinks. Yeah, I bet. All right, we got one more question because we're running out of show here. It's Eric from Breathtown. Uh, let's say hi to Eric. Eric, what's up? Hello? Eric. Hi, can I speak to Kelly, please? Uh, Kelly's hey, on the line. Hey, man. Um, how you doing? Good. Cool. How is the tour with the band and stuff? What's that? How is the tour with the band? Because you sound exactly like Lou, man. It's great. Uh, we're having a great time. The, the crazy thing is that this summer we're, we're not even on a bus. We're, like, flying everywhere because... Because we just started in March, so uh, it's like I have seen more airports than uh, than you can believe. Oh, you but got, it's, you, we're but it's a great time with the band, about hanging out. All right. Uh, yeah, it's just really great. Uh, I know like, you, do you like how eloquently I, I answered that question? Yeah, wow, that's pretty something. good. No, it's a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lou Graham has AIDS. Oh, what is wrong with them? Is there, did the, screen, the screener didn't pick up that this was Steve again? Oh, I'd rather listen Steve. to Gary Glitter's computer collection. <laughs> <laughs> Ramon, I've heard better sounds coming out of Adam Walsh's hat. <laughs> oh, I Look, Steve. Steve, you've had That's your fun. Steve. There, you're a star for the day, Steve. <laughs> oh, this guest sucks. Are you happy, Steve? You got on again. Ramon, bring me a cover band. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Ramon. Uh, All right, we get it. I'll have to with whatever he's having. Yeah. All right, thank you. Well, well, Kelly, you sound great. And uh, where, where are you guys playing? Atlantic City? Yeah, we're playing at the House of Blues in Atlantic City. Nice. Okay. We're playing there tonight, actually. I mean, you sound just like, uh, wow, Lou. It's, it really is amazing. Continued success for you guys. Well, thank you very much, and I uh, appreciate you guys uh, taking the time. So No problem, man. All right. I mean, you woke me up, but what am I going to do? No, yeah. you did great. Uh, Go play some cards. Jimmy, where were you? We've been on What's the that? phone. Uh, no, one of our guys just uh, came back in the studio. Downstairs. Should I play, should I play roulette or should I play blackjack? Uh, three card poker. Three card is where it's at. You don't really? have to. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to do anything. You just kind of watch the cards. It's nice. <laughs> oh well, that, that must no real strategy. Good. Jimmy, you got something for Kelly I'm Hansen before we let him go? No, no. I heard. I heard that um, that you're really good, man. So good luck to you. I heard that actually. I really. Good. I was downstairs with a security guy. Guy, one of the guys wants to come up and watch the show, and I'm like, I oh. don't know. All right. Well, All right. Can you help him out? Yeah, 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 but it was just like they have to get clearance. They have to get somebody from up here to go down there. All right. They got Ke any clearance to come up to see you? Absolutely, yeah, we have security. Hey, we're running here. out of show. The computer's going to uh, knock us off the air. Kelly Hansen, uh, thank uh, you. Continued success. we got to say thanks to Bill Burr for stopping by. Caroline's all this weekend. Yeah, come on down. We're taking a day off. We'll see you guys sometime next week. Kelly, thank you. All right, thanks, man. This concludes our podcast day. The Ben Anthony Show. Oh, God. That's wonderful. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah, right. Pack it up. I've had it. Oh, I think you said hack it up. I'm like, well, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we got paid for this shit, to be honest with you. Anyone else have a, a money clip I could borrow? Money this one's clip. full. Yeah. Oh. Maybe you should just have those ones. You don't have extra money clips with laying around yet? <laughs> with your big wad of cash? This yeah. is a gap and a spark plug, doll. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.